internet hello hello we have done the requisite troubleshooting of things that did not have the settings change for a week um not sure why they want to change every single time but there we go let me move my little camera over here all right hello hello everyone it has been a freaking week. <laughs> it's been wild. Just a lot of stress and it hasn't stopped raining in like three weeks. I don't know how y'all in Portland do it, but I need me some sunshine. So naturally I want to play a game about murder in a post-apocalyptic ruined society. Yeah checks out. Hey, Turbo Jerky. Oh, I see your emote. That reminds me, I am maybe making new emotes in conjunction with an artist that can actually draw things. So stay tuned. But yes, let us let us go into this world of sad alcoholic bliss. Okay, volumes looking up. Right, let me know if anything level-wise needs to change. As always, it is a journey. But thanks for hanging out, all. Good going, buddy. Whoa. Um, so, to catch you all up, we have just finished day one in-game of Disco. Um, I had a dream where I saw myself hanging from a tree in lieu of the corpse that I've been investigating. Um, I may have robbed said corpse against the advice of my better half, a.k.a. my partner, Kim. What else? We have a few leads. There was a really nice summary at the end, in-game. They gave me a nice summary, so... I've forgotten it, but it, I remember it was very helpful. Oh, wow. All right. So I am just waking up from this dream now, it looks like. But I slept through the night, 7.30. Not bad. This guy gets up earlier than I do in real life. Um, is that how it's now? Whoa. Is that how it's going to be now when I close my eyes? Is this a thing? Yes. Wait till you see the one with the chick in it. It's gonna be a good one. You feel even worse this morning than you did last night. That's definitely my ex-wife. You don't know. You don't know. Some bro that messed you up, it'll come to you. It always does. What the hell is going on with me? You mean, why are you so tired? Too tired and down to even think? It is worrying, isn't it? You can't be a detective like this. Detectives need to be able to think. This sounds right. To Rodricky, what? These Kirby are cute? Yeah, we'll keep Kirby around for a little bit. Um, I'm trying to go original, like stream original, kind of, I don't know. I don't want to spoil it, but I think you guys will like it. Hey, Inferno Canuck, welcome in. How are you doing today? I am doing, I'm tired. I'm actually pretty tired. I wish this was a Friday stream just so that I could know it's Friday. That's kind of how I feel right now. How are you doing? Oh, we're solving a mystery, by the way. I don't know if you know this game. It's Disco Elysium. Let me know if you are familiar. Can't be a detective like this. Why is this happening? It's just that your heart has finally pumped all the speed out of your system, Buster. Time to get some more. Ooh. Don't do that. 
Stay strong. The hangover will wear off. You don't need to keep doing this to yourself. No, I can take this. I'm not going to go looking for speed. I can barely find cigarettes. Are you sure? Ready to live as this pathetic shell of yourself for days? Basically, a week. Let's be honest, two weeks. Maybe three. You won't make it. Half the town will be dead by then. You will be fired. This inner voice is a real bummer. Kanak, I hear you. Well, thank you. Yes, I know. You rated me last week so kind. Oh, yeah. I thought your name was familiar. Well, welcome in. I think you were almost, you were ahead of me, I think. I think maybe you were ahead of me by one day. I'm on day two. I just started day two. So no spoilers if you're ahead of me in game time. Yes, you were. I, I was a day ahead of you. Okay, yeah. So we're just starting day two. I went back in the middle of the night, took the boots off the corpse. Oops, don't tell Kim. Um, and we'll see what day two has in store for us. But yeah, welcome in. Thanks for stopping by. Now you're two days ahead of me. <laughs> well, thank you for not spoiling. But yeah, I hope you enjoy watching me make very bad decisions. It's, I think it's fun to know what to do and to watch me not do it. That's the charm of the stream. All right. Let's opt out of the speed again. Suit yourself, slow, sad shell man. See how you do without your spark. I have enough inner voice problem. We don't need to add speed to the mix. All right. Yeah, Turbo Jerky, I notice what you're talking about with the game. It has like a little bit of a visual lag sometimes. I wonder, that's a troubleshoot for another day, but I do notice that. Like, look how slow it zooms in. Why? Is it just slow? Oh man, all right, what do we have here? So here are the boots that I stole. I didn't get a chance to wash them because the kitchen was closed. So I, I think I have to find the right moment to wash them when Kim's not around. It'll be like a very small moment in the day because I think the kitchen closes at a certain time too. All right. I, oh, I was doing some ledger stuff to get some more. Let's see, let's see. So, I think our main things, if I'm not mistaken, are to find the lady, the lorry lady, lady driver. Find all the parts of the armor, but that seems kind of like a fetch quest completionist y thing. Oh, yes, the body is decaying. Oh, yeah, I wonder what check that is. I need to find a fridge. Let's see. We've got a lot of intense checks here. Trash container. I feel like I was trying to persuade Kuno. I hate when my investigation needs Kuno's help. What else do we have here? We've got Long Way Home baking. Oh no, that one's done. So what else can we get cooking here? <laughs> nice jacket in game. <laughs> Thank you. I know Kuno's a real piece of work, isn't he? I feel sorry for him, but just when I'm about to feel really sorry for him, he says something absolutely unforgivable, and then we start all over again. Magnesium base life. Form. I don't have any, like, really good buffs from these. Everything's a minus. I wonder if they give me a nice buff at the end, though. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same way, Canuck. <laughs> All right, well, let's get rid of this flashlight. It's the middle of the day. We don't want to look silly or anything. Wait a minute, it's hard for me 
to see when it goes over there. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we can get rid of that. And, you know, I'll keep a tool in hand. You never know. I think we're looking good. I'm so excited we get to redo all the checks that we messed up yesterday. Kim, 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 is this your room? No, I don't actually know where he's staying. Was I supposed to meet him somewhere? Kim, this is the ladies' room. The door is closed. Let's try the handle. This door can only be opened with. Gotta go. Yeah, why is it so slow? Sorry for the dramatic zoom outs. Oh, cool. The union's here. And we're very slowly and laggily going to zoom over to me. Kim, good morning. Morning. He gives you a quick nod. Looks like we can get to work at once. The union must have turned up. They look rowdy. We should talk to them. I'm going to ask why do we need to talk to them, <laughs> just for a little refresher. Everything points to the duck workers union. The belt used for hanging him. Yep. The circumstances in Martinez. Yep. My preliminary information. But here's the thing. If, if what Joyce said was true, and we need to pin it on one particular person to spare the lives of all of the union workers, we're going to need a person to come forward. And also, they're probably going to kill all the union workers anyway. Which may, of course, all be wrong. But we still need to talk to them, and it won't be easy. Let's roll. One more thing before we do. We don't have to talk to them immediately. We can walk right past them, continue with our business. Ooh, are you saying we can side quest? Good. A power move. Purposefully concentrate on something else first. Cool. Oh, stream elements. Let me just make sure we've got the most updated elements in our chat here. They're in no hurry to leave. They think they own the place. Anyway, I leave that choice to you. Whatever you decide is fine by me. Kim, you are so forgiving. All right. Got a little auto save action. Hello, friend. Just a moment. The old woman turns back to the cafeteria manager. She's agitated, judging from the way she keeps pulling at the frayed edge of her blanket. Whoa, stream elements is crazy. Did they update this interface? Wow, so much for me knowing what to do on the sly. <laughs> All right, let's focus. And there's no public phones nearby? Lena, do you need help? The closest phone booth is down the coast. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Aw, the cafeteria manager appears genuinely apologetic. It's fine, I understand. Thank you anyway. Oh, man. I'm glad to see you again, dear. I gotta help, Lena. Sorry, ma'am, I didn't mean to eavesdrop on your conversation. Tell me how I might make it up to you. Please don't trouble yourself about me, sweetie. I was just hoping to make a call, but the Whirling's phone line isn't working. Oh. The union office probably has a phone, but I can't really get there. Yo, you, I the can barely get there. Down the coast. And Gary's phone is dead, too. Wow, you're in a real phone problem there. Connects as Lena's such a sweetheart. Yeah, she's great. I hate that it gave me such rude options to say to her. I haven't said anything overly rude. I think I've just been my normal, like out of itself with her, but. Uh, wait, what's wrong with the phone line? The manager was vague about it. Ooh, that's suspicious. Why would he be vague about phone problems? Indeed. This is something to look into later. Ask God, maybe. Gart hates me. To let the young woman who's house-sitting for us know that we may be delayed. Morel, my husband, and our friend Gary were supposed to get back by Monday night. 
but they're still missing and I haven't heard from them. Oh, let me help you. I'm very competent. I was also hoping she'd heard from Morel. Morel's a great name, by the way. You hear that? Someone's missing. There could be foul play afoot. I love missing persons cases. And I know this is true because I have my case notes back from a dumpster. That's right. Now skip the foreplay. Time to dive into the dark alleys. Start shaking down the usual suspects. You know, legwork. Right. Doing some good will alleviate the hangover. At least you're of use to someone. <laughs> I love this second option. This sounds more like a side thing. I need to take care of my main thing. Then I'll get back to this. The meta knowledge of this game is really subtle and cute. Okay, I'll bite. Has your husband gone missing before? That's just it. This isn't like him at all. He always plans his expeditions so carefully, but you have more important things to worry about. She glances out the window toward the bay. What is this expedition your husband was on? Just some field work, sweetie. Morel is a highly trained scientist. He and his assistant Gary are studying an extremely rare species of insect. How close is he to Gary? But they should have returned by That's now. Question. They were just going down the coast across the water lock to set a few traps. He said they'd be back on Monday. What could be keeping them? I mean, are, are you sure that he's not in love with Gary and that they're having a love tryst? Lena? The water lock. That was broken. Could this be it? Oh, that's a much more practical assumption. The water lock to the other side of the coast is broken. They're probably just stuck over there, Lena, and they're not in love at all. Oh my. What happened to the water lock? Probably just some technical problem. Well, whatever the cause, I'm thankful. To both of you, you've spared me another sleepless night. And a long journey to get a phone. You're welcome, ma'am. I hate to ask, but if your investigation takes you to the other side of the coast, please do keep an eye out for my husband. I would delight in meeting your husband, Lena. This will surely lead to a cryptozoological mystery with that extremely rare insect. Indeed. And if you see him, let him know Lena is waiting for him here at the Whirling. He gets so tangled up in his work that he may not know the water lock's been repaired. And it's cold out there. Um, if I see him, I'll let him know you're here when or if I get there. Oh, you're such a dear. Thank you, sweetie. You're welcome, Lena. Give me side quests anytime. Um, tell me more about the bug. Oh, sweetie, it's fascinating. But I shouldn't bore you with entomological minutiae. Hmm. The lieutenant gives you a sideways glance. No, 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 no. I want to hear about the bug. Well, it's a phasmid, technically, but... Oh, yeah. Here comes the... Interesting. Yeah, what is it? Where other phasmids imitate sticks or leaves, this one's a living reed. It disguises itself among the reeds here on the Insul Indian coast. Okay, okay. Hence its name, the Insul Indian Phasmid. Perhaps you'll end up co-discovering the phasmid with us officers. Wow, that is totally outside the scope of my work. She looks you in the eye and nods thoughtfully. There's a touch of awe in the way she enunciated the creature's name. She's passionate. To be honest, this animal sounds like a cryptid. You wouldn't happen to be searching for some kind of gnome of Jeroma, would you? What? What? I smell pseudoscience, he's thinking. Not a big fan of that. Yep, yep, yep. It's simply elusive. So much so that most establishment zoologists doubt it exists at all. Oh, Lena, you're a cool monster hunter. Establishment. I thought so. Does it have cool powers? Yes. It can blend in almost perfectly among the reeds. It's how it stayed hidden all these years. Centuries, even. What makes you think it's here? 
Well, some teenagers making out in the reeds saw one. <laughs> they, they didn't know what it was, of course, but uh -huh. there was a brief article in a local newspaper about their encounter with a ghost insect that looks like the reeds. Gary sent us the clipping. Gary seems very involved in all of this. I suspect Gary... <laughs> so a newspaper clipping is all the evidence you have. Of course, most phasmid sightings turn out to be false alarms, but their description matched the Insul Indian phasmid perfectly, and they didn't even know what they were looking at. <laughs> Canuck says teenagers making out sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy that they can continue uh, finding joy in this desolate world of Revishal. Enthusiasm has wiped the worry from her face. Her eyes sparkle behind her glasses. You seem really excited about this cryptid. I suppose I have something of a personal connection to the Insulindian phasmid. All scientists have their little hobby horses. Man, it's really making me ask her every single question. Can I just leave? Is that an option? I guess not. Uh, is it valuable? Oh, I doubt it. No one gets into cryptozoology for the money, sweetie. Preach, Lena, preach. Let's move on about the stick bug. Oh dear. I'm afraid I'm not explaining this very well. It is very special. The woman's face flushes with embarrassment. Morel can explain it all much better. Don't sell yourself short. I wish you could hear him describe it. Then you'd understand, I'm sure. No, you're doing a great job. Forget Morel. All right, that was a little early morning chat with Lena. The gardener's here. I, oh, you also are a lawyer. Let me handle this. The woman says to the crowd in the mess hall before turning to you. Detective disorientated. Hello? Are you still wondering where you are? This is Martinez, in case you've forgotten. I advise you not to overstay your welcome. Is that a threat or are you just passing on the threat? You lied to me, you're not a gardener. That's right. I am not a gardener. I'm a legal counselor for the Dock Workers Union. Wow. That's awesome. So let's get to it. You're looking for Titus Hardy. You think he has information that will help you. Maybe he does. Cool. That's Titus. Talk to him. But know this. Mm -hmm. I'll be keeping an eye on you. No strong arming. Nothing official. The district of Martinez does not recognize your authority to make arrests. She was so nice to me yesterday, very informative, and now she's all like, gatekeeping my investigation. It doesn't matter huh. if you recognize our authority. We will make an arrest if we have to. She says nothing. Her glare speaks for her. Dang. What if I want to talk to you, not Titus? You're very interesting. What you want is of no significance, officer. Don't test your authority. In Martinez, you are no one. Dang, you're awesome. I saw what you were thinking. You want to say, what are you going to do to me? Don't. Just because it's in your head doesn't mean you have to say it. Fair. You will not lose out on anything good by not saying it. I should talk to Titus. You seem to be way cooler than me. <laughs> That's usually my cue to leave. Canuck says, I know her mask has come off, it seems. She was quite helpful, though. I mean, like, she went above and beyond. <laughs> Let me pick up this soup bowl. <laughs> hey, fellas. Hey, buddies. That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? Pretty long. It's drink the clock. Attaboy. It's coming back to him. You had your mesolimbic reward pathway worried there. Not thinking about drinking all that time. It was like you weren't yourself. Hmm. Maybe later. Maybe later? <laughs> what is this? Oh, Casual no. Friday. What's with the lackadaisical laxman attitude? You used to be passionate about getting your drink on. Show me you're still young. All right. Show me you have the fire in you. Lick that stain off the counter 
right now. Whoa, that's next level. I don't want to lick it. I'm going to embarrass Kim. It's not for me. It's for Kim. What happened, man? You used to be cool. Go get your boring normal person drink then. Oh, man. It would go well with those cigarettes. That's a great combination. That's true. I do think my character would love that. All right, now we got to find booze and cigarettes, which you would think would be pretty easy to do, but I haven't found them yet. Oh, I can talk to this guy? <laughs> you used to be cool. You used to be about the music. It says gonna. It's all about money, you know. Yeah, that's true. We haven't found money on the floor recently. Ah, oh, man, I really wish Kim would leave me alone so I could wash this boot. Hey, buddy. Ooh. This industrial gas-powered stove has been used to prepare food for many hungry hostel guests. There are several pots and pans on hand. What are you planning to do? Throw a dinner party? Please refrain from culinary experiments until after we finish the investigation. Sorry, Kim. I'm side questing in the morning. Whatever you had planned, you have to do it when the lieutenant's gone. Ooh. The stove is unmoved. Cool. We really need to get into this kitchen at night. We'll cook a fine meal and we'll wash corpse boots in the sink. All right, let's just talk to this guy. Let's get all our bad this luck is where out. You your bed. <laughs> New task, interrogate the vigilantes. A broad-shouldered man points at you with a beer can. What's up, Titus? He's used to giving orders and having them obeyed immediately. You should not indulge him. Hmm. Detective. The lieutenant acknowledges you with a sharp note. He's leaving it to you. Hmm. You know, there's a documentary uh, creator. I think Errol Morris is the one I'm thinking of who lets people talk their way into a corner. I'm going to go with the Errol Morris approach. Hey, hey, dipshit. You hard of hearing or something? The boss man's talking to you. I'm going to do a power move. Cross your arms. What, is he fucking kidding? This guy high or something? Shanky, so glad you could be here. Hey, asshole, up here. We're talking to you. I think this is really warming them up. We are looking for Titus Hardy. Lieutenant turns to the broad-shouldered man at the end of the table. We need to talk about the hangman out back. Oh, this is about him. Mm -hmm. A real looker, that one. You guys are no good. You sure took your time, huh? Waited for him to get real ripe and pretty for you. Shanky, you think you're cool. You're not cool. They'll drop you in a second, Shanky. Oh, he was a real pretty boy. Hanging up there, letting out that pretty boy smell. Oh my god, you guys. Are there any female union members? Because, like, you guys are, like, a little much. I can't, for the life of me, understand why you did it. I mean, I would have just left him up there. You must really like cleaning up other people's shit. I mean, I did run into a dumpster the first chance I got. So, yeah, you know, that's a characterization of me that I'm not going to fight too much. You might want to start asking your questions now. It's not going to get better than this. Thank you, Elizabeth. These guys are so macho, they're ready to confess to first-degree murder. Ask if it was them. Yep, that sounds right. Um, let's be the good cop. Let's give him something, a little, a little info first. I talked to Joyce, the merc you hanged. His friends are coming for you. Yeah, my friends. You mean his squad mates from Cronell. Yes. Wouldn't want to beat up his grandma. Ooh, there's snickering in the room. Some of the men put their beers down. Knick says, I look forward to you learning more about these hardy boys. <laughs> Nervous snickering. There's a rush of adrenaline present. Yeah, I'm looking for, I mean, I guess I wouldn't say I'm looking forward to it because they seem like jerks, but they're not as bad as that racist lorry driver, I guess, so far. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they're coming for you. 
They're coming, they're forming, oh yeah, they're forming some kind of tribunal. Yeah, they are, it's true. This is what happens if you take the law into your own hands. Other people start doing it too. Yeah, and then you form the Avengers. Let them come. The Hardy Boys are right fucking here. The Hardy Boys are right fucking here. You heard the man. Right here. We're armed. We got the whole district behind us. Good. And Glenn. Glenn is fucking crazy. Come at me, Glenn. Come at me, buddy. Yeah. I will oil it. I think Elaine is a little bit scarier than Glenn. He punches Blondie on the shoulder. The mood is on the rise. They're feeling confident, ready to punch out the whole Merc platoon. Cornell is bad news, you know that, right? <laughs> so are the local gangs, the fucking Barmy army, and the Madre scum. You mm -hmm. been out there? Seen any around? Yeah. What are they now, huh? Send back to Madre in an airtight cargo crate. No, I, I'm pretty sure they're here somewhere. Just Joyce won't tell me where because I'm a mess. <laughs> These people are trained military professionals mm -hmm. with decades of combat experience. They are not a gang or a barmy army. No, they're not. They're uncoordinated and drunk. We know more about them than you think. Okay. What do you mean, okay? Um, what do I mean by that? I'll be on your side when they come? Oh my god, no way. Once I find it, why? Why would I be on their side? Why? I mean, there's so many options to be on his side, that's wild. I mean, okay, they're gonna wipe you the fuck out, Titus. No, they won't. Get out of here with your negative energy. Wait, am I supposed to be this guy's friend? I hate him, I don't want to do it. He really doesn't like you ruffling their feathers like that on what might be the eve of battle. Yeah, West Side Story this shit, you guys. It's not my problem. All he means is that the situation is serious. No wonder you cops get shot to shit every day. Can't go to war with an attitude like that. Scan the room. No, no, no. Eyes here. You got business with my boys. You got business with me. Wow, this guy. The boys are too eager to please him to keep their mouths shut. You're gonna get a good head count here. Just wait. All right. Yeah, you fuck with the Hardy boys. I know, right, you Turbo fuck Jerky? With Titus Hardy. Hardcore. These guys are. I mean, they've got comical names, but yeah. All right, Shanky. Relax, Dennis. No one is fucking you yet. Says the 40-something man from the corner with a plectrum hanging from his neck. I don't know what a plectrum is. I will Google that later. Yeah, Dennis, calm down. No one's fucking you, you stupid fuck. Glenn has the best voice, though. Let Dennis enjoy his fucking, man. We don't mind. Okay, Elaine's the scare. Elaine is, like, next in line. He's gotta be. Yeah. <laughs> You're not even being fucked, Dennis. Okay, Fat Angus is pretty good, too. It's, a, it's really, for me, a toss-up between Glenn and Fat Angus for faves. Easy, fellas. We got company. Let's see what brings the cop around. Too late. You already scanned the room. You got a pretty good picture. Ooh, I have a good enough perception that I already did it. Um, a, a, pic a picture of what? Of the actors here. Yeah. You could take another look at the tracks in the mud on the crime scene. Compare it to these guys. Oh, come on. I don't have their shoe size or anything. Let's ask him if he did it. The pretty boy. You guys really love talking about that pretty boy. Well, I am investigating a murder, Titus. Funny. But my partner and I have a serious matter to discuss with you. Why is there a container belt around the dead man's neck, Titus? Container belt? Like we use in the harbor? Yes. Why? Because we took it from the harbor where we oh, were. Oh, shit. We it back and used it to hang. Drop, dropped it. Just dropped it right on me. What gall? What gall you have, Titus? As he speaks, his fists contract, going through the pulling motion again. <laughs> Turbo jerky, case closed. <laughs> and that's the end of the game. 
All right, good night. <laughs> we did this Dang, together, tired. all of us, until he was dead. That's why there's a container belt around his neck. So you just confessed to murder? Goddamn right. I. No. These seven honest men have equally come forth. They told you what happened so that you don't waste any more of your time. Wow. Okay. Their claims are their considerable strength in numbers. Don't talk about arresting them. You only bring attention to your inability to do so. Seems like I'm kind of out of my jurisdiction. Who called the shots that night? I need to pin this on one guy so you dum-dums don't all die. Are you deaf? There will be no singling anyone out. You can't arrest a hardy boy without arresting all hardy boys. This is your defense, Elizabeth? Dang. Do you think you could do that? Do you think you could arrest them all? Yeah, I'm really good at what I do. Uh, do you have any tables that I can lick the alcohol off of? Thank you. Titus, keep addressing him. He wants everyone to know he's in charge. Hmm. Should we stroke the ego of Titus? No, I just want to piss him off. That's for the courts in Le Jardin to decide, not for the officer making an arrest, which we all know you won't be. Elizabeth, I can't believe it. I thought you were my friend. You gave me... I'm wearing your gloves. I'm wearing your gloves right now. What you can do right now is go back to your station and write a report. Boring. No, no. We'll stay here and discuss what happened that night. Why did you kill him? Why? Because he was worthless mercenary scum. And he stepped out alive in my town. <laughs> Canuck says, I also felt betrayed by Elizabeth. Yeah, it's... I have made few friends in this game, so the fact that one of them has already betrayed me sucks. Uh, glad we cleared that up. So am I. Now. How about you get the fuck out of my town? I'm not going anywhere, Titus. I have to find a karaoke song. No, fuck him. Yeah. Murder rage never came from nothing. Yeah. Hit him with the question again. Okay. Why do you fucking do it? I mean, I don't think I literally have to ask him again, but... Oh, I can. I'm going to ask you again, Titus. Why'd you kill him? Why? Because he was oh. worthless mercenary scum. Okay. And so he was a mercenary. He, I am. He stepped out of line. Okay. What kind of mercenary? All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Thanks, Kim. The kind that shows up when you start a strike. Ooh. The experienced kind, too. Had Kohoi and Semenin written all over him. Ex Oranese Special Forces. Wow. A live grenade. Right here in our bar. Quiet down, Eugene. This is between me and Titus. This one has a special gripe with him coming here. Guess so. I can't prove it, but I know he was sent by the Wild Pines. They hired I mean, You're not wrong. Story of every strike from here to Samara. Right, right. Um, what did he actually do wrong besides existing? Not that you need a reason. Wrong. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, one. yeah. He's Rast not workers. great either. I forgot. To kill some as a warning. <laughs> Dang. I'm on... I have a terrible job. <laughs> There's a slight unease in him suddenly. He regrets mentioning the rape. Interesting. To kill us all. If we don't open the gates. If we don't let the scabs in. If we don't bend over. Mm. That was before he started coming here. Yeah, he said it was his favorite joint now. Started to come in here every night. Drinking, grabbing girls, grab one of ours mid-karaoke right there on the stage. Wow. One of ours is an interesting way to talk about women, Eugene. But okay. 
Turbo Jerky. It was her least favorite pair of gloves. Yeah, you're probably right. They probably are the worst. Maybe she bugged him. I don't know. He grabbed someone? The lieutenant is trying to make sense of the flood of information. Yeah. This girl's on the mic. A beautiful girl. Young. Gets into the second verse of Lover Lake. The fucker grabs her legs, starts screaming. Show me your cunt! Oh, God. You show me your cunt! Then, he gets knocked on the head with a wine bottle. Doesn't even fall down! Was this the same girl who was sexually assaulted, raped, as you said? Aren't you fucking listening? My man is talking to you. He took care of it. They got the girl out before anything else could happen. Wow, there's so much messed up power dynamic in this one conversation. It is a lot. Yeah, me and Eugene got her out. Aren't you fucking listening? He repeats like a parrot. Shanky. Um... Okay, then who did it? It's a serious allegation. No, you're not getting a name. That's a Martinez matter. And I'm not discussing it with you clowns. Hmm, vigilante logic. Despite the stonewalling, you can slip one more question in. All right, all right. Let's push him on that. Titus, do not answer. You have been forthcoming enough. Elizabeth, you're so smart. Fuck off, Carl. She's gone through enough without you harassing her, too. She doesn't need more embarrassment. Hmm. What are you talking about, embarrassment? If someone has been sexually assaulted, we need to... What you need is to get the fuck out of my face. Dang. I've had enough of explaining myself to you fucks. You hear the aluminum... Oh, sorry, sir. It's done. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I thought you were done. You hear the aluminum crack in his palm as he squeezes the beer can. As you can see, these men can only take so much baseless scrutiny. I'm doing my best to keep the situation civil, but... Elizabeth, man, I can't believe you would represent these, these lawless guys. It won't be for long, she means. Wow. It's true. She was the only thing holding me back. Um... Why don't I just arrest you? Yeah, lawman. Why don't you? Who? Weren't you warned to not go down this path? Mm hmm And yet you still go and do it. I mean, it was the only option to end the conversation, so yeah. Not in the arresting mood? His mean little eyes come alive with hatred. A fearful readiness, like an electrical charge, raises hairs in the room. Whew. By your side, the lieutenant keeps his hand away from his holster. You hear the nylon of his coat hiss as he steps closer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kim, calm down. Easy. Walk back from the provocation. They're armed, and they outnumber us. The lieutenant tries to establish eye contact with you. Boy. I really don't feel like we have much right now. Easy now, let's just talk. Wise move. You made the right choice there. Now make another one and get the fuck out of our booth. We're not gonna do this again. You guys should keep your booth cleaner. It's a nice area of the bar and you're messing it up. Man, it's really taking me through this little dialogue tree. How did you kill him? We hanged him up by his neck until he yeah, died. Yeah, I know. That is, is obvious. You You're pretty okay. sure you have at least two years of cop school. Certainly enough to not put up with this back sass. Deliver a knockdown observation. Now you listen to me, Sonny Jim? I'm not saying that. Mm -mm. I guess I, I could say Sonny Jim. Um, we... Look, I'm not gonna... Play 20 questions with you, Capo. I'll say it again. We killed him. Yeah, tell me how. Yeah, I knocked him I out. I knew it, Elaine. Came up behind him and clapped him in the back of the head. He went down like a sack of sand. Okay. And then I guess you all got him up in the tree? That's right, lawman. And 
can we hang the fuck? Hmm. Mm. Plus one strange answer to the tied hands. This is a red check. Ooh, woof. Composure, you say. Okay, I'll be, I'll be like right back. What, copper? I'll be right back. Nothing. Your investigation here is done. Leave Martinez. I think we're going to have done this job for long enough to know that people don't just confess. Okay, to okay, okay. Good yeah. luck with that. You've heard everything a rent a cop is gonna hear from Oh, I hope us. I can talk to you again. You. Rent a cop. <laughs> Oh no, so that's what I've just been cruising through thinking maybe I can get back. I don't think I can get back. Forget about their games. You've mapped out the characters. Should I try Reading it? the footprints in the yard should be easier now. Yeah, because I like looked at their shoes. Oh, establish authority. Okay. I can't get to my stuff. From here, which is the worst part of the game. So. Red check, yeah, means you can't try again. So sometimes I can exit the dialogue tree and come back. But, I mean, if he truly is done talking to me, I guess we just missed that one. Which is fine. So, I'm going to take off now, sir. Maybe I can still approach him. All right, all right, let's see. Yeah, I do wonder if the red checks that I skip are timed or if they're always accessible. Because you guys know me. I just like to see what I'm wearing before I try any checks. It's very important to me. Um, it would help if I remembered the skill, though. Oh, boy. It was... Com Posher? Question mark? Mm, it was... Something that I was halfway decent at. It was composure. Inferno, you rock. Thank you. <laughs> the beauty of playing games on Twitch. You're not alone in your failure to remember things. <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty good at it. Bonus from items. I already have a plus two. It's buffed quite well, actually. Should have just gone for it. I think that's the best we're going to get. You know what? I keep, like, running through these dialogue trees to go check out my item inventory, but I can access this screen. So I could have just taken a peek at this, I think. That's probably what they want me to do. And then if I see negatives and stuff, I can make different choices. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Yeah, I don't have any clothes for that. So yeah, let's talk to this young man again. Hi, we just had some Looks drama, like but I'm back. The circus left town, but the clowns are still here. Glad we can still talk to you, Titus. I didn't know. I want to talk about the hanging again. <laughs> Super awkward. I'm back. Again. Just get the dead guy's autograph, since you're his biggest fan. Nope, want to talk to you, buddy. <laughs> Good one, Titus. Okay. I don't remember what we did. How did you kill him? We hanged him up. Didn't they? You're pretty sure. Certainly enough to not put up with this back. Sunny Jim. I remember there was Sunny Jim. Um, yeah, that's right. Long ah, there we go. And then we hanged the fuck. Cool. Yeah, that's the best we're going to get on this, I think. Let's try it. Fingers crossed. Titus is ah so busy. We got it. And so are a few others. But... Okay. Wait, first tell me who's solid. Who's cracking under the pressure? What the hell is this? This is a question of myself. Who's cracking? <laughs> yeah, fat Angus. <laughs> Did 
dang, all he did was breathe. <laughs> that Angus, this one. He's sweating profusely. He has difficulty breathing. They've smartly kept him out of the conversation thus far. Definitely the weakest link in the chain. Good, I love Fat Angus. A single sentence will wear him out. Cool. He can't take the length of the question. Keep it going long enough and he'll crack. Hmm. Mr. Taz. Oh, that's, um... Good old what's-his-face, Elaine. Hey, you. You have trouble breathing over there? No. <laughs> he looks up startled, his forehead shiny from sweat. A few coiled locks are peeking out from under his warm woolen hat. Of course he's having trouble breathing. Just look at how fucking fat he is. Shanky. <laughs> no body shaming. Fuck off, Shanky. Angus is a powerful guy. All muscle. Even if he's not, he's still the weakest link. Hey, Ty, welcome in. Popping in from the side door. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> welcome in. We're playing some Disco Elysium. Talking to a union boss that just admitted he killed someone. To me, investigating the crime. And I really have no power or jurisdiction here. So <laughs> it's going well. Keep your eye on this powerful guy. Sooner or later, he's going to break like a piece of twig. How's your night going, Ty? And have you have you played this game before? Disco? This is my first playthrough. I've never played a game like this before. There's something you're not telling me, Titus. And fuck you too, copper. You're welcome. We can own Angus like this. We're done with this schoolyard shit. And just so you know. He doesn't have trouble breathing. I admire your loyalty to your crew. His all-muscle comment wasn't sarcastic. Yeah. He's genuinely trying to look out for Angus. It's, it's touching. I mean, kind of like Kuno. I feel sorry for you until I realize you're... This one is a stone wall. You won't get more out of them about the night of the murder. Not yet. Hi, not too bad. Never heard of disco before. <laughs> not since the Bee Gees. It's kind of like a Soviet-flavored, post-apocalyptic, very lore-heavy world that we're in right now. And the way I find out about the lore is much like in an RPG, talking to people and everyone's got their own opinions. All right, Mr. Tats, what's the murder weapon? My fucking elbow, Copper. Oh, come on. Someone unboxing a style. Yeah, right. And where did this all go down, friends? Right fucking here. Eugene already told you that the fuck had started coming to our bar. So you guys knocked him out with an elbow and then carried him out of the bar? Yeah, man. Weren't you listening? All right. Like what, Copper? Inferno. Oh, yeah, the lore is really dense in this game. Ty, at first it looked like cyberpunk. Yeah, it, we're not really too high tech in the game, I don't think. If anything, I mean, I think I have a, um, like a 1920s type car, so it's, it's an interesting blend of timelines. Ty, I'm very much into lore building these days. What a, what's your juiciest lore that you're proud of? that you want to share. Obviously, don't give us your proprietary juice, but something that you're excited about. All right, I think I'm done with Titus. About fucking time. Get out of here, Titus. All right, friends. Let's go build some lore of our own. So I need a fridge to store a dead body in. <laughs> Still. Oh no, Kim's gonna see that I took the boots. Oh, 
Should we get it over with? Should I show Kim? The man is decomposing visibly now. Every hour, he looks less like a creature and more like a pile of intestines. Love it. It's all new of art and stuff, of course. The history of emergence and such. There's a lot to it. I bet. I feel like with lore building, once you, it's like opening a can of worms. Once you start, you can't stop. There's like always another layer to it. Oh yeah, for those watching though, how do I do a plug of a website? Ooh. How do I do that? Is it is it adventure slang? Is that what it is? Confirm yes. <laughs> Trying to link to you. I'm just very, very bad at it. Let's see. Yes, haha. -ha. Okay, good. I remembered it. See, you're doing good product placement. So for those of you who want to see Ty's awesome lore in action, check out his awesome game, which I plan to do soon so I can talk, like, shop about it. The lieutenant adjusts his glasses and takes a deep breath. Ty, my friends are helping so much. It takes a village. All right, apparently, Kim does not notice the shoes are missing. So that's good. Thought he was gonna yell at me. Kuno, do you happen to have a fridge where we can store a dead body of a murder victim? Fuck, does Kuno care? Oh, Ty, you're gonna love this kid. His name is Kuno. He's very colorful, very, uh, well, He's Kuno. Yeah, the kingdom of Kuno. The fuck do you want with it? Can I not ask about the fridge again? Oh no. Kuno, tell me about the ladder? Trash container? I don't know. I don't feel like you're very helpful right now, Kuno. Don't know. Keep that gardener used to work there. The gardener? She's actually not a gardener. It turns out she's a union fixer. The fuck does this have to do with the Kuno? Kuno doesn't give a shit who she is. That's fair. That's fair. I was just trying to connect with you, Kuno. You were expecting oh, no. to this information to him to be more rewarding, right? <laughs> Telling him you found out she isn't a gardener. You know what you should do if you want to get rewarded? Drugs. Yeah. Drugs are more rewarding than work. That's true. That's true. My character loves drugs. Loves cigarettes and alcohol, and I can't find either of them. Or alcohol, if you don't want to do drugs. Alcohol is just as rewarding, but it isn't a drug. Actually, this alcohol is a drug. Quite a while, hasn't it? According You've to all of the D.A.R.E. programs that I attended as a child. <laughs> Juicy drugs. Tasty alcohol. <laughs> Inferno, if you had the combo with Kuno and can't recall, I can help you if you want. Yeah, I did talk to Kuno. I talked to him and I talked to the store clerk. And I th think I failed a check that meant that Kuno wouldn't help me find a fridge. <laughs> Drugs are bad, okay? Seems kind of boring now, going back to... What was this about? Some yard? Yards aren't interesting. Only drugs are interesting. Drugs and alcohol. My character's an alcoholic. You feel sad now, but what can you do? Life has to go on. With a heavy sigh, you say. I wonder what this mug is about. It's a racist mug that I found in the garbage, and it, the game keeps bringing it up. And I haven't asked anyone about it because I kind of hate it. I actually don't want to show Kuno because he... He's a lot anyway. Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Yeah. I don't want to hear what Kuno has to say about the mug, actually. Um, 
How do I re-enter the fridge dialogue, though? Yeah, Kuno probably would love the mug. And I'm like, I just, I don't need to hear that, I guess. I want to discuss the body with you again? The fuck about it? Um... Your test and get lost. Okay, okay. I feel like we're overstaying our welcome here. Kuno doesn't fucking care. I know, buddy. I know. All right. I thought there was a chance that I could put this body somewhere. Hmm. Maybe not. Let's reinvestigate the footprints. footprints the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked here. So the mechanics of this game, much like an RPG, you buff yourself with stats, with things that you do, with clothing or items, and white checks you can retry. Red checks are permanent and they change the path of the game. So it's giving me the DC essentially. I'm I guess decent at visuals, but I have a lot of buffs from what I've done. So, all right, let's see if we can suss out how many of those union boys were here. Wow. Right. No. Still not doing it. Not even a little You're bit. bad at this. Yeah. Yeah, really bad. <laughs> Why is this so complicated? I keep failing. Maybe you keep failing because you suck. No. <laughs> It's too true. Gosh. Okay. What, what kind of boots? Heavy workers' boots with reinforced toes and hobnails all over the yard. All right. I saw some shoes. Good. Isn't good, good, good. this something an industrial worker would wear? Lieutenant, workers' boot tracks. Noted. Man, I probably could have got another plus one from that info. Darn it. All right. Let's heal myself. Need to get a little bit more morale healing. Check your tasks, maybe. That's a good call. Let's see. Maybe I just can't find a fridge. Ask around about a fridge. Ask Whirling, Freet, Kuno, some other local kids. I've asked all of those folks except for other local kids. I tried talking to Kuno Ys, his friend, and she was not having it. Are you a local kid? Do you have a fridge? Hello again, sir. Ooh, she will talk to me about a fridge. Hey, child, you wouldn't happen to know a good fridge, would you? A fridge? Yeah, like a big, big fridge a cop could put a dead body into. <laughs> you mean like the ice bear fridge? Man, that's scary. Yeah, yeah. C do you have that? Ice bear fridge? Yes, like a bear, but white. There's a fridge below the building in the basement. Ooh. Red glowing eyes. I went back there once, behind the bookstore. This is perfect. Mum doesn't want me to go there anymore. Not that I want to. It was pretty scary. And there's a big fridge there? Yes. Oh, this is amazing. Wow, that was easy. One more thing, how do I get inside the building? Um, that's a problem. Uh. The only way in is through the bookstore, but my mum is pretty strict about not letting anyone in. Let me just lay on the old charm. But I don't know, you're a policeman. Maybe you can convince her somehow. <laughs> Hydrate, all right, all right. I've been hydrating though. We'll get the, the real hydration going here. Thanks for the redeem, Turbo Jerky. Cheers. Thank you for spending your channel points. Oh, I was going to say, I'm kind of open to adding more channel point redeems. So if anyone has some fun ideas, especially for video game nights, let me know. Throw them in chat, throw them up on Twitter. I think we can make this a little interactive or gamification of the stream which is already about games, so that's a little, a little much. Anyway. I love Annette. She's such a sweet girl, the opposite of Kuno and Kunois. It seems like it. She's very industrious. Pulled her out of school to work, I guess. I do my studies at home at the moment. 
I have to help Mum keep this place running. What is school, anyway? School? Well, mine is a big yellow building on Boogie Street, and the people there run it. They say it's a charity. School is stupid. Mum says it's necessary to do both, because it builds character. Mum says a proper worker is dutiful. That's how you get ahead in life. You succeed. All right. I think I know a little bit more about your mum now. Let me go talk to her. There is stress and unease behind these words. She's reciting etiquette. How's the business going? Mum says it's peachy. She was a little afraid at first. There's talk about this house being cursed. Holy moly. Annette, you are sharing a lot of lore. Behind her, the window has been boarded up. I guess not lore. You sense the boards creaking. Twisting for a second. I guess maybe I smell some kind of side quest? In her tense shoulders. In what way is it cursed, Annette? Are we talking lore or are we talking like side quest? Can you clarify? Cursed in the way that makes them say that no business has ever really thrived here, sir. That they all go... Say nothing. Well, they run out of money and have to stop doing business. That sounds rather serious. I should probably look into this. Narrow your eyes and look through the creaking boards on the window. We can go into the bookstore and ask about the case. But I don't see much more to look into here. Kim, you are right as always. Yes. Please do also look at our wares inside. The postcards and board games are there, sir. So, she says the only way in is through the bookstore, but my mom is pretty strict about not letting anyone in. So I have to, like, sneak past the mom? How does the curse manifest? It does not manifest itself <laughs> in any way. It does not exist. I liked it better when we were talking about whether it's appropriate to stand out in the freezing weather. But Kim, the plasmic manifestations. No such thing. The lieutenant stands at your side, stern and serious. Uh, anything else you wanted to talk about, sir? Enough about the curse, for now. Maybe I can tell you about some of our books instead. Uh, no. Goodbye, Annette. You've been most helpful. Wow, that was surprisingly great. <laughs> Ty, Kuna reminds me of Dean from Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. It has been an age since I've seen that. That's actually a movie that I know I've seen, but... Do you have those movies that are, like, on TV when you're not feeling well and you're just kind of, like... I guess that doesn't exist anymore because of streaming services, but just the ones that are on and you kind of catch them at different points each time or like the same point each time and you never really know if you've watched the whole movie. I feel like that's lock, stock, and two smoking barrels for me. Oh, well, what's the other one that I've done that with? 12 Monkeys. That one was also one that I've seen in bits and pieces. With Bruce Willis, I think. A small mountain of colorful board game boxes. All right. There are numerous types of games for all ages. A lot of shelf space seems to be taken up by we're our related merchandise. Um, I guess let's look through it. An endless variety of source books, law books, and codices litter the table. The topmost book is titled Welkin Compendium, second edition. Brad Pitt? I think so. Wait, maybe it's only Brad Pitt. <laughs> Bruce Willis isn't in it at all. Is he? Oh, man. Clearly, I need to watch this movie again. Oh, it's both? Okay. Man, that's a powerhouse of a movie. There's also a large hardbound tome with intricate cover art, The Hunters of Catawack, Boreal Creature Compendium, and a Pick Your Path adventure game book hmm. titled Tales of Wirral, Cavern of Velcrag. Uh, what catches my eye? There's a box that says Wirral, third edition mega setting supplements module. <laughs> the side panel notes, a fantastic adventure board game, new maps and miniatures, a sticker on it displays 25 real. 25 real. I have 12 real and I've been dumpster diving to get that. That is way out of my price range. Nonsense for anemic beano clouds. 
Whoa. I want to buy the rear all game. Yeah, right. All right. We'll be back. I wonder what that does for me in game. Hello, ma'am. I would like to go to your industrial size fridge and store a corpse. Thank you very much. Welcome to crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. My name is Plaisance. Be welcome and please take responsibility for the energy you bring into this space. I love that. I love that so much. A golden pendant hangs around the woman's neck in the shape of what looks like a tiny fish head trapped in amber. Please take responsibility for the energy you bring into this space, everyone. <laughs> Should I put that on uh, stream elements? That sounds so delightful. All right, so let's see, let's see. So are you the owner of the store? Let's get to it. I am the proudest owner of our little shop of culture. Her voice is high pitched as if to give it more penetration. She has fine-tuned her voice to find the most welcoming approach for attracting new customers. It doesn't work. No, it doesn't. I don't want a voice to feel like it's breaking through something in my mind. That's, that's not good. Um, your daughter is the one standing outside the store, right? Let's build some rapport first. Annette, yes, my daughter. I hope she wasn't slacking off again with her nose in science fiction. Tell me, was she at her post doing her job like a proper girl? Yes, of course. Wonderful. Did you talk to her? Ooh, should we say yes or no? Maybe she's not supposed to talk to us. Not really. Why not? Dang. Was she not friendly enough? No. Were you not compelled to talk to her? Oh, boy. I was trying to do a net a solid, and now I've got her in trouble. Um, I don't know. I just walked right in here instead. Oh, yes, okay, that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's working then. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Do you browse our book, sir? The way you're handling her strikes me as wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. We've got to really soothe this relationship. And that is quite the trooper. She's a great value add. <laughs> what every parent wants to know about their child. I'm here to dismantle the free market and abolish child labor. Let's call her a value add. As a young girl should be. Yeah, I knew it. Attitude, she'll have a bright financial future. Okay. The woman before you scans the store, her shoulders rigid and tense. Every now and then, she nudges her glasses. Um, give me your fridge. A fridge? No, I don't know anything about a fridge. Liar. Aren't you interested in books? Oh shoot, do I have to buy a book? I gotta buy a book to store a corpse? What kind of a game is this? Um, no. The girl outside mentioned this place is cursed. I'll, I'll lift your curse, how about that? Cursed? Who said that? No. Annette? She doesn't know. I will have a word with her. This place is not cursed. It has a robustly magnetic energy. Right. Good for commercial activity. My business is thriving, sir. Doesn't feel like it's thriving feels ghostly. What if I want to buy a book? Goodness, you were already doing good browsing the shelves. Mm -hmm. Why do you stop? Because it's Don't expensive. Don't you feel compelled? Go, go, get back there. The books await you. Oh, gosh. Everything is on the shelves. Take a look yourself. The shelves compel you, don't they? Man, I'm going to have to buy She's a book. She's attempting to mentally direct you towards the shelves. She only wants you to buy the goods. She doesn't care about the books. All right, all right, I'll take a look. She smiles and nods, seemingly relieved. I don't even have the option to ask about the fridge. Oh, no. Oh, no, we need currency, you guys. Maybe we could just sneak, sneak in. <laughs> okay, bye. We'll you be see back. a set of tattered curtains blocking the way to another room. A strange cage-like trinket dangles from the curtains. Oh, wow. Excuse me, officer. The back room is strictly for employees only. Let's examine the cage-like trinket. You see some kind of charm, an irregular polyhedron assembled from bones, sticks, and straw. Inside, a disturbing fish head with empty eye sockets stares at you. Ty, I have to go do some writing while I still have the brain power. Oh yeah, thanks for stopping by. 
Here, let me drop your link again before you go. I'll get a quick command one of these days for fun stuff. But yeah, this is Ty's awesome content, new game. Um, oh, why is there a backslash? That's not right. There we go. Of course. Yeah, always happy to promote awesome stuff. Thanks for stopping by. But yeah, check out Ty's stuff. Amazing. Um, we, we, we might be doing some kind of exploration of the game on stream. I haven't worked out details, but I'm super stoked. So give it a gander. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, awesome. I'll be back again. Great. We're here every Thursday being really bad at investigating murders. So stop on by. Good luck with your writing. Hey, someone's dropping in. Hey, Raiders. A Synthetic 20. What's up? Hey, Raiders. Welcome, welcome. We are playing Disco Elysium. Uh, I am playing the part of an alcoholic, depressed police officer who lost his memory and is really bad at solving murders. Um, so welcome in. As a channel, we play video games on Thursdays. And then on Sundays, we play RPGs. Hello, hello. Hey, Synthetic. Enjoyed what you had to say at Tales from the Tavern, so I thought we'd stop on by. Oh, awesome. You caught me on Tales. Actually, Ty was just in here. I think he already popped out to go do some writing, but thanks so much for the raid. Thanks for watching um, Tales and for the compliment. That's super nice of you. What were you guys playing? Let's find out. I think I fixed my shout out. Let's see. So high tech. I have to spell correctly though. That's the challenge. Does this work? Oh wait, maybe you gotta put the at. All right, testing, testing. Ah, oh, I think it worked. And you were playing Stardew. I haven't yet played that game. How is it? Aside from poking at it suspiciously, there is nothing else to do with the fish head charm at this time. The curtains remain shut before you. You were playing some Stardew Valley, Asynthetic. We mostly do comfy, cozy games. Playing some TTRPG content later this year. Awesome. Well, great. I will give you a follow. We'll check that out. I love the combo of games and RPG stuff. I think it's such a good fit. Favorite game of all time holds a special place in my heart. Aw. I kind of feel that about, I think a spiritual game related to it is Animal Crossing. That is, that is the one that I got sucked into during the pandemic. We, I, I wouldn't say we play cozy games. We play narrative-based games here. And sometimes narratives are dark. So we are investigating a murder, trying to find a fridge to put a body in. So we found a fish head charm. The curtains remain shut. Should we try to just open the curtains? Should we just go for it? Just as you're about to pull apart the curtains, the petrified voice of the shop owner cries out once more. Don't listen. Just do it. Sir, don't touch that. I told you it's off limits for the customers. <laughs> you know, just your average Thursday evening. Yeah, as one does. Parapsychologically speaking, we're done if you decide to open them. What? I won't be held responsible for the consequences. It's too dangerous. You, you, you said there was no curse, but you believe in parapsychological energies? She looks away, mumbling. Why is everyone always messing with the curtains? Why can't they just buy books like normal people? What? Let's pull rank. Ma'am, this is different. I'm a police officer. I need to get in there. Let's see if that gets me anything in this game. Why? It's not like anyone was killed there. What? She stops abruptly as her hand flies over her mouth, baffled by her own bluntness. Lady. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be so impolite. Just please don't go there. I can't allow that. You'll only make things worse and unleash the powers. The powers? The curtains do seem frail suddenly. Not robust enough to contain a slippery darkness. 
So she did it, and it's behind the curtain. Mystery solved. Actually, I just interviewed a crew of union workers who admitted to killing the person that was hanging on in a courtyard. And the, the person that was hanging in the courtyard, their buddies, their paramilitary, they're going to have a clash, West Side Story style, with these union workers. So I'm trying, I know who did it, I guess, kind of, maybe, but I have no power to bring them to justice, and I think they might kill each other. So that's kind of where I am right now. I need, I just need a place to store the body. I'm really bad <laughs> at this game. I need it to like be on ice so that it's not rotting every day. That is the goal. <laughs> but apparently we've stumbled into something weird. Um... Listen, lady, I've heard there's a fridge that I need. Everybody suddenly needs something from there. Yes. Leave the curtains be. It's what it wants. I need to investigate a murder. Okay, so what's in there has a Thanks for the follow. And it wants you to enter. This is <laughs> I need more murders, it's fine. <laughs> Unless they're lying. I like the way you think. I'm suspicious of absolutely everyone in this game, too. All right, all right, all right. Let me in, let me in. I don't care. You can't stop me. I'll open them. No! Please just talk to me, officer. Come here and let's talk this nope. through before you decide to do anything extreme. Nope, going in there. Lies. Rip them open, we say. Yes. There is something mysterious about the curtains. Be careful. I will. The curtains, tattered with age and covered in dust, hang before you. As if taunting you. Should we ask what's behind or should we just see? Let's just see. I don't care what she says. Whoa! You see a dimly lit room full of dusty furniture and trash. A doorway stands mm. in the back, covered in dozens of scary little cage-like trinkets. Your shadow looming over it like an omen. Interesting. I warned you, you're unleashing forces beyond your understanding. So be it. I need a fridge. <laughs> cool, this lady's crazy. I love it. Ghostly silhouettes of hair dryers. A vaguely androgynous portrait of a man. Merely looking at that unmanly haircut threatens your masculinity. What? Who's thinking? This game has very interesting statements about gender roles, and I'm not sure if they will ever interrogate them or if they're just saying them like it's from my character's perspective. My character's a little bit of a dick. My partner's great, though. Kim? Love him. No sane person would ever put their head into such a machine. Oh. So maybe this is like a previous hair salon turned bookstore? A heavy door with a missing handle stands before you, covered in dozens, if not hundreds, of little oddly shaped trinkets and charms. It appears to be locked. Turbo jerky, damn your curse. I have meats to keep cool. Yes, human meats. All right, let us enter. What if... You just break it down. I have noodle arms. Broke into the communard apartment. Oh, that's true. I have a plus one. I, I a little buff from breaking into somewhere else. Knock on the door. Oh man, what if someone answers? Only an echo. No one is there. All right. A hollowed out dark echo. Who? Maybe I should break it down, but not before I strategize. That's right. Take mm -hmm. in your mm -hmm. surroundings. You need to have a solid ground and sure. a proper posture if you want to succeed. Okay, first check your posture. Steady breathing. Solid core. Yeah. You've got this. With one shoulder forward, you're ready to smash into the door like a battering ram. Check your surroundings. The room is dimly lit and littered with old barbershop rubbish. But the path to the door is clear. And what about the door? It's made of a solid block of wood. 
but it has stood there for ages. The hinges are old and coated with a carmine cool. layer of rust. It should be doable. I got a plus one preparation phase complete. Worth it. Let's do it. Hey, hey, I think that's good. It's a green color. Ow. <laughs> okay, maybe not. <laughs> Shit. Oh, they got me. You smash into the wood and see a small crack appear on the door frame. It's going oh. to take one more try to break through to the other side. But you've done it. It was a success. All right, let's heal myself. I have some extra heals. All right, we're running low on supplies, though. You're not thinking of trying again, are you? I mean, I think so. <laughs> Smash into the door and shout, fuck the system. <laughs> Smash into the door and shout, fuck, it hurts. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that checks out. Asynthetic. Sometimes success doesn't feel like success in this game. <laughs> and in life, honestly. All right, we are in a gym, it seems. What is this place? Looks like a gym to me. Yes. But no one's been here in ages. He draws a stripe on the dusty floor with his foot. I doubt the electricity still works. Good thing we have a flashlight on us. Don't forget to take it out of your bag before we move on. All right, all right. Some specks of dust shimmer in a faint beam of daylight falling from the window. Other than that, the room is dark. Cool. An airy feeling rises in your chest. Ooh. What if there's a reason why no one's been here for ages? Yes, because it's close. <laughs> Kim, no, I'm talking supernatural. No need to look for supernatural explanations oh my God. <laughs> where a banal one will do. Now it's like he hurt me. Kim, you know me so well. All right, all right, let's see. Get the old flashlight out. <gasps> Guys, I totally forgot. Ah, oh, we got a level up opportunity after we talked to the union boss. I forgot. All right, what should we level? Let's check out our missions. Oh, cool, it organizes it by day. That's so helpful. <laughs> it makes the uh, type A person in me very happy. Where are my checks? Oh, there we go. Asynthetic. <laughs> nice. Oh, could you talk about your build a bit? Oh, yeah, yeah. I am um, out of the box. Uh, one of the, the standard options that they gave me was focusing on Inland Empire and Psyche. So I didn't do any customization. It was one of, one was kind of like intellectual. One was more of a brute. And then this one, they described it as like very emotional and weird, but I might go crazy. So I'm very, very strong in Psyche. I talked to a corpse uh, and the corpse talked back. And then I have a lot of good intuition and in things. Kind of slow on the physical stuff though. I'm getting decent at motor though. Physique, I feel like I'm a little wibbly dude, but I'm actually all right. Fours and fives. I've got a lot of impulses from electrochemistry. I will say, I think electrochemistry and half light get in my way the most. And then I'm dumb. <laughs> Just very dumb. I don't know what basic things are. So I could make myself smarter or I can continue being dumb because it's funny. <laughs> Quite honestly. Asynthetic. Oh, I love the high intellect build. So it'll be interesting to see how the story is different with high psyche. Yeah. So I am very interested in the differences too. And I'm kind of wondering about the physical strength element in this game, because there's been many opportunities where things can escalate. And 
I'm not escalating them physically, but I wonder if like you can get into a lot of fights or something in this game. I don't know. All right, so I'm seeing a lot of blue. Broken window. Honestly, probably visual calculus would help me or rhetoric. Seem to be not great at those. I think I'm gonna buff my visual calculus a little bit so that I can notice things. Um, yes. Cool. Hopefully that combined with my flashlight will yield some interesting results. Ooh. Smells like leather and sweat. Okay, synthetic. Well, you have high physical strength. Did you accidentally make a himbo? Or maybe on purpose? <laughs> I kind of did. <laughs> I I actually went into this thinking I was making a really crappy character, but he's, he's doing all right. <laughs> a himbo. I love it. I mean, but like, look at him. Look at this jacket. Also, I mean, look at his portrait. Where, where is it on screen? Like that, that's not exactly pretty to look at. What's going on in here? A barbell lies on the floor. The color has worn off its weight plates. It's 60 kilograms. Your triceps hum at the sight of these weights. Hmm. Show the world what kind of beast it's dealing with. Speaking of himbo. Yes, Okay. There are no collars on the barbell. This is a safety hazard. Hey, visual calculus is kicking in. I hardly notice anything usually. Why does it feel so familiar? I hate when the game says that things feel familiar. I really feel like I have a dark secret that I am not remembering about myself. Is this familiar because I'm a weightlifter? Oh boy. No, it's not that. It's the stale smell of rubber. The squeaky sound of sneakers. Your bruised knee against the mat. And a whistle. Then the feeling is gone. Interesting. Smell of stale rubber. Oh man, what happened to me? A memory from another life. When you were young and fit. Oh, okay. It's not anything nefarious. I'm just remembering my past <laughs> when I used to lift weights. All right. Well, let's give it a go. You know, let's lift this barbell. Press Kim. Oh, that's not good. It's not good at all. Oh, shit. <laughs> you managed to Ow. hoist it off the ground. But the barbell feels wobbly and dangerous. Your hands slick with sweat. Turns out you're no beast. Just an old man with bad form. Yep. Even your body has failed you. It's a miracle you didn't injure yourself. Seems like I'm a little out of shape. Or maybe these gloves just suck. Elizabeth gave them to me. Proper weightlifting gloves would definitely afford a better grip. Look, Kim, it's a trap. You're right. The weight may fall off. Better not touch it then. What kind of bastard would just remove the collars? It should be a felony. <laughs> wow. I don't care about safety hazards. No one does until they get smashed into the barbell. Kim, coming in with the hard truth. All right. Looking around, looking around. Looking at this. Oh, that I thought that was a door the whole time. Turns out we're out of here. Lock my old window panes into three. This place is scary. Ooh, it's scary. Ooh, it's getting scarier. 
Wild animals stare at you in the dark, stuffed and mounted. A large demijohn full of strange liquid. Huh. Oh man, this is really cool. I like how this has been animated. And the music. Can you guys hear everything okay? Let's turn the game up a little bit. Got some creepy music coming in. Oh my god, this is scary. The little girl went back here? No wonder she's terrified. Naked mannequin torso, a strange yellow color. It's a little high now. Oh, okay, okay. You guys don't want to get too scared. I understand. <laughs> Maybe it's because my mic's too high. Okay, I'll try to balance them. Yeah, all right, we'll try that out. Oh, I got a happy emote from Tur Turbo Jerky. Either it worked or Turbo Jerky appreciates my effort. Money. Maybe we can buy that board game. Where are the clothes it used to display? Good freaking question. Your flashlight slides over an old green chalkboard covered in scribbles, sketches, and schemes like some ancient cave mural. Some of the writing has faded with age, but you can still make out sections here and there. Photos and drawings have been pinned to the board. Oh boy. Is that an elf? Is this like a... <laughs> is, is this someone who designed the board games? Stop. Let's inspect the drawings. These lithe, pointy-eared creatures appear to be different types of welkins. You make out autumnal candle welkins casting wax-based magic. Okay. Translucent welkins with organs shining under their skin. And even... Ether Wilkins, hailing from the vast emptiness of sidereal space. Hey, GT, welcome in. Good to see you. Love that you're always coming in with that cute cat emote. How's your night? Who are all those creatures? Fantasies of a tortured, feverish mind? I feel like whoever made that board game was back here. One of the Wilkins, towering among the rest, appears to be different, however. Examine the Welkin. It's Vara Hamira, a high Welkin, his face white and scarred like cracked oh marble. My God. This is clearly a Welkin supremacist. The note says oh, all non-Welkin races will be purged. Oh my God, it's racist elves. Wow. The Haldor, the Tuorg, the humans, and even headless men, all of them purged. Imagine a world filled only with Welkin. Green Welkin, Dread Welkin, and the High Welkin to rule them all. Is, is this an early edition of D&D? An inordinate amount of time has gone into drawing these little Welkin creatures. Um, I'm going to whisper one of them is a Welkin supremacist. Mm -hmm. Political commentary. That one has a great beard, too. Goddamn, Kim is so cool. Let's move on from the Welkins. Just look at those details. Some effort. Yes, indeed. And for what? All gone. I mean, you don't know. Maybe they published a game. The photo collage depicts barren, icy landscapes wrapped in perpetual night. You see permafrost and glacial landforms, dead trees grown in under the snow. That is real hard to draw in chalk. It looks quite detailed. Entire oceans have been frozen from shore to shore. There are pictures of settlements on dried up riverbeds, abandoned in a storm. Animal corpses in the dark, carcasses and bones. Dang. Albeit dark and cold, this vision also feels cozy, cozy? in its own way. Like eggnog or morphine. A much needed respite from our own world. I mean, I suppose... 
A pinned postcard reads, The heat death scenario. A desperate fight for geothermal energy engulfs the world as Wirral becomes untethered from its sun, drifting through the universe. I'm legit reading someone's world building notes for their RPG game, <laughs> but there's a supremacist leader, so it's a little problematic. What the hell is going on here? This is a monthly calendar from the year 50. Cryptic words like Sprint, Daily Minimi, and GPI span the marker-drawn grid, the grand scheme of production and money. Okay. It looks a bit like an academic calendar, only much more brutal. Keep reading. What happened? As time goes on, the numbers in the boxes grow rarer and rarer. The board becomes an empty snowfield in the final days. Only failure and regret dwell in this region. Looks like they didn't make it. Yeah, the lieutenant looks at the frigid ice field of nothingness. A note in the bottom left corner of the chalkboard says, See the prod schedule filament for details. Inspect the notes. The handwriting is only partly legible, but you can still make out three slogans. Call in, tune out, we're all untethered, and heat death of the universe. The full text reads, Heat death of the universe is the new black. Oh my Another God. note says, The biggest advancement in role-playing systems since the 30s. So meta. So meta, I can't even handle it. That was just a lot. It was a lot. So whoever made that game out front was working on it back here. This appears to be some kind of machine with a cube-shaped heart and a wired framework. The keyboard has a rectangular on-off button. A piece of paper still hangs from the printer. Interesting. GDT, that is a very detailed drawing. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a, someone had a lot of passion back here. A radio computer. Just sitting here without anyone inside. He sounds surprised and a bit cautious. But we are looking for a fridge, and we are pressed for time, so... Ah, oh, no, Kim, we gotta check it out. On the other hand, it's not the time not interested in abandoned radio computers. Let's turn it on. The machine lights up like some prehistoric animal stirring from its slumber, revealing fluorescent play and print keys on the keyboard. The hatch on the machine's central compartment is wide open. Press play. Nothing happens. Oh, boy. Uh, look inside the compartment. It's empty, like a beehive without its brood. Mm. Some cables have been left dangling, disconnected. This is where the memory should go. Ooh, we need memory then. Press print. Nothing happens. Okay, bye. Wait, should I press play again and let me do it? <laughs> Just hit the button again. Tiles on the cube. If I've are learned anything smoldering. from troubleshooting my own Casting stream, you just gotta a soft glow. plug it in the again. Play. Nothing happens. All right, well, let's go. Now we know. I'll be back with the memory. I'll find it. Scribbled across a notebook. Developers of the most advanced RPG in the universe. God damn it, you meta bastards. This old fireplace is covered in lines drawn in blue and red marker. The mesh spreading over the stone like blood vessels on alabaster skin. It looks ghostly and strangely ancient. Synthetic says, I mean, this game has roots in the old 2E adventure games that use the Infinity Engine. So it's really cool to see the meta elements from a team that knows the generation so well. So that's a great comment because I'm coming at this from only the TTRPG background. And then on the video game side, I think the closest thing I've ever gotten to an RPG is like Zelda, where you're running around and you're upgrading your stuff and you're talking to NPCs and you're side questing. Like there's a lot of elements there, but I've never played a game like this and I don't have any reference to like 2E adventure games. So I'm interested in, there's like a lot of like tongue in cheek stuff here. I'm sure that's going on that you point out that it's like kind of going over my head, but the meta nature is really cute. A diagram for summoning some time forgotten being. The symbols seem very esoteric. What am I looking at? Radio frequencies, it seems. UKV 123.6. UKV 123.7. For UKV what? UKV unclear. It looks like a cardiovascular system 
split into veins and capillaries. Very advanced. This must be an elaborate piece of art. You think so? The web is comprised of radio stations, all lead back to one red heart, titled The Game Master Frequency. Uh -huh. A note says, this one can listen in on any station it wants. <laughs> mm -hmm. Looks like a surveillance program. Oh my god. Wait, who's the Game Master? Someone very important. Obviously. The leader of a massive on-air game built by these people. If it's a game, then who's playing? Whoever decides to call in to a call-in station, it looks like. That's pretty cool. A list of names under the stations suggests people across six Isolas would be playing. Muindi, Insulinda, Kotla, Grad, Samara, and even Il Mara. All of this is gone, left unrealized. My God, it's as if the less money they had, the more ambitious their project became. Oh, that's so cute. Why do you say that? The schedule. I know doom when I see it. The company was running out of funding. What else? Nothing. It's just lines on marble. An echo from times long gone. No one has used the fireplace in ages. Oh my god. It's too funny. <laughs> These game developers. Okay. Kim, what do you think? What do you think is going on with that computer, chalkboard, and fireplace? It's a failed business. The only question is, what the hell were they making? Yes, that is the question. Lieutenant takes a step back, steepling his hands. It looks like one of those popular pen and paper role-playing games. It does, only it? these people were trying to automate it, make it work on radio computers. Those wild guys. Utter madness, he thinks. <laughs> As a compliment. Oh my god. Wow. That's all. That's all you get. Indeed. It's ambitious and untethered from reality, but... So cute. They were insane if they thought they could do this. The world is cold and lonely. This would keep it company. Let's finish it. Ooh, yes. Let's make the game. It's too late for that, I'm afraid. He looks out. Looking around the the derelict room, the pot oh my goodness, the pipes howl and a rat <laughs> crosses the floor. Okay, let's keep moving. Yeah, buddy, let's go get that fridge. That was really cute. Oh good. I do need some healing and some money. Thank you, thank you. There we go. This would terrify me as a child. No wonder she was scared. You see a terrifying ice bear with a strange compartment in its belly. The door is covered in frost and the bear's eyes are glowing red. Asynthetic. Baldur's Gate is the big one. I've heard of Baldur's Gate. That's a um, Wizards of the Coast property, isn't it? The thing that's really interesting about this game is where those old games would have numbers based on success or fail, this game has words and narrative. It's really neat and took a ton of writing. Yeah, I mean, this feels very connected to TTRPGs. Like, it feels very natural to play this game. <laughs> GDT fridge, will there be snacks? No, but very soon there will be a dead body in this fridge because I'm going to put one in here. This ice bear is a hyper carnivore. Be careful. Crack open the door. A gust of freezing cold air rushes to greet you. You hear a low grumble as the bear regulates itself. This is the inside of a refrigerator. Good, that's what I seek. The lieutenant takes a peek inside. His hand has found the holster of his gun. Dang, Kim, look inside. The shelves are empty. All you see are crumpled ice cream wrappers with the brand name, Revachol Ice City. A handwritten note has been attached to the door. The fridge is huge. Dead dove, do not eat. Take the note. You pocket the note and the little fridge magnets keeping it on the door. Um, the fridge looks big enough for two corpses. <laughs> I only have one. It's certainly an eccentric choice, but it is capacious and cold enough, too. Perfect. But the optics on this are awful, he thinks. 
We need to be as silent as we can. Yeah, bringing a body down here is not going to be easy. Shall we go and get the body then? I'll take the head. You take the feet. The stairs won't be easy, but we'll manage. I like how I could actually not do any of this. Like, I don't need to store the body. This is completely optional. I could just send it to the... for processing. The two of you. Easily. All right, let's do this. The body is heavier than the stinkier. It takes half an hour to get down to the bed. Then more than to stuff it into the bridge. The lieutenant takes a step back to admire your handiwork. Oh, God, look at it in there. Oh, God. Beautiful. A dead body in a nice bare fridge. This is some of the best police work I've ever done. Oh, well, stick with me, Kim. There's a lot more where this came from. <laughs> You've definitely earned a drink after this. Perhaps even some pagan rites. Wow, Kim would think I'm absolutely batshit. Yes, we need to celebrate by performing pagan rites. Let's bring up the meat and set it on fire. Look, I'm not going to put my buddy through that, okay? <laughs> even the thought that I would think that. He doesn't get to know. I'm not sure I believe you, Kim. Of course you don't. Look at that. What have we done? We stuffed a dead body in a nice bare fridge. This does not leave this room. <laughs> I'm putting it in my report. A synthetic says Baldur's Gate and all the Infinity Engine games were licensed in the late 90s. They all took place in the Forgotten Realms. It's a lot of people, including myself. It got a lot of people, including myself, into Dungeons and Dragons right before 3E was released in 2000. That's awesome. That's really interesting history to know. So, and that makes a lot of sense too, because if it's very crunchy and numbers based as a video game, 3.5 definitely played into that a bit more than 5e, I would say. GDT missed opportunity to call it the polar bear fridge. <laughs> Maybe it was copyright. <laughs> he means it. He doesn't want to be the ice bear cop. It's fair, it's fair. We're doing goofy things, Kim. That's what we do. We did our best with the means at our disposal. Did we, though? Yeah. Okay, maybe we did. Yeah, see? Go team us. Let's high five. At least we've stopped the body from decomposing further. Now you can conduct another inspection under controlled circumstances. Perfect, because I need time. Inside the icy realm of the ice bear fridge, the corpse stands slumped, waiting. Perception. I mean, we might as well retry it. We have him in the fridge. Plus two. Oh God, wouldn't it be funny <laughs> if I went through all that trouble and then I accidentally clicked bag him, take him away, Kim? That would suck. I hope I don't do that. Um, yeah, let's try the check. I think a five is pretty good. Okay, let's go for it. Ah. Your arm reaches out and your yes. eyes close too. as if by their own volition. It's dark all around. You feel cold, dead flesh through the latex glove. It's right under the palm of your hand. What is this? His face, his cheeks, his nose, his fat, swollen lips. Like a rubber spider, your gloved hand crawls on his features. Everything is silent all around. They are swollen shut. You need to Ooh. really push to get in. Push your fingers and his nose. Only the little one fits. Ooh. The flesh changes shape as you bore in, searching for something in the cartilage. Dang. The thing you're looking for, it's not there. Crawl out, spider. I'm sure Kim thinks I'm nuts. Mouth? What am I the doing? The oral cavity is cold and moist. A ball-like tongue attaches Ooh, itself to the bait. You're on the right track. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, 
Open your eyes. A vision of black and dark red death, pried open by your hands and studded with teeth. Looks like he's laughing. Death fumes rising from his throat. And there, in the back of his mouth, above the bell of the uvula, right in the soft palate, you see a hole, oh, barely shit. visible to the human eye. It is swollen shut, almost vanished. No larger than 0.4 centimeters in radius, the edges appear darkened. Right above the uvula? A black trickle of liquid runs into his throat from the wound. What? Your index fits right in there. A tight tunnel of flesh opens up. Tissue damage. Wide enough for two fingers. Oh, shit. As you push both in, you reach through his mouth, right into his brain stem. Oh, my God. Ew. Okay. Um. Let's go for it. Your yellow fingers slide into the remains of the limbic system. There is no resistance. Oh, this is it's gross, gelatinous. guys. This is gross. The slug-like structures are damaged. I gotta too. eat dinner after the this. The tearing extends deep into both hemispheres. The uh, ovulations of the limbic system have ended. All is quiet. What the hell? I gotta tell Kim. There's a cavity cut right between the hemispheres. The lieutenant answers with the sound of his pen on paper. Whoa. Your fingers are all the way in now. Gross. Reaching toward the inside of his skull, the cavity goes further, but the entry wound isn't wide enough for the rest of your hand to follow. This is super gross. All the muscles in your body harden. Time to enter him. Why is this sexual? Ew. Punch a hole <laughs> through his mouth. <laughs> the carpet is Ew, the God. Like Ew. Just like that, your hand is in his head. Oh Strange my God, fluid gross. streams down your wrist, and then you feel it I, with okay. the tip of your finger. Can we just talk about how literally nothing is happening on the screen? I'm just like a little like Sim in front of a bear fridge. The writing is really good and disgusting. Uh, I do kind of feel like they were like trying to sexualize this whole encounter though, and then like it became really, really gross, like bodily gross. Ooh. Ice cold serrated metal. Its edges cut right through the latex and into your finger. There's metal? Wait, what? The pain is barely noticeable under the adrenaline rush. What the hell? Ah, uh, let me tell Kim. Can you can you get to it? Um inspect the skull. There's a tiny crack, a protrusion in the cranium, what the hell right is in going the back on? of his head. Your finger must be pointing straight at it from the inside. A synthetic says, yeah, I love the history, but I also enjoy that 5e has shown there's enough space in D&D &D for everyone. Agree. Agree, but in shock. <laughs> Agree, but in shock. GDT is also suffering. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Hey, synthetic. I appreciate how disgusting it is, but yeah, it's super sexual, probably because it requires physical strength. Yeah. And there's a lot of like sexual overtones to the game. Like he's really um, kind of fixated on masculinity a lot. Like he's always talking about like ma being macho and feeling like threatened. There's, yeah. I'm not sure what's up with my character, but Ugh, okay, I'm processing. What the hell is going on with this corpse? The object that is in there stopped just short of the skull in the encephalus, knocking this tiny fracture into the cranium. I don't, okay, I thought the union dock workers just roughed a guy up. What is happening? We have the makings of a very small exit wound here. Fish it out. Thank God, I do not want to do that exploration of the skull again. You pick the object between your index and middle finger. Feel sharp, mm -mm -mm -mm. like metal. You press your teeth together. Your jaw is clenched. All you need to do is just... I got it. Good, good. 
The inside of the head feels cold and smooth, like a glove. Sweat dripping down your brow. Careful not to lose the prize between your fingers. So gross. With a plop, your hand emerges from the mouth. The garden glove is covered in blood right up to the wrist. Gross. Between your fingers, a small flower, a blossom made of lead. Was all of this just about a bullet? Because <laughs> that was incredibly detailed. And I would say overly disgusting. A bullet. Yeah. Wow. That was a journey. <laughs> Holy cow. I would use this, if I was still teaching comp, I would use this as an example of tone and detail in writing because you could literally just type the sentence, the lute or the, what am I, a detective? The detective found a bullet in the corpse's skull, period. End of sentence. Holy cow. Gross. Gross. The bullet falls in the bag leaving a smattering of blood on the plastic. He raises the bag under his eyes and says, A synthetic says, Joyce Carol Oates would be proud of the detail. Love it. Sherry, yeah, I didn't get this either. A synthetic, I had low physical strength and didn't experience any of that that I remember. Really? Oh, wow. Well, I apologize for putting you all through that because my himbo guy just really, like, had a moment with this corpse. A non-calibre. Rifle. Some kind of brittle alloy. Fractured on impact. Can I have it? Of course. You deserve it. Huh. We need to add an item to the injury list. Injury number four. Oval entry wound with an abrasion collar. Soft palate, back of mouth. Dang. How did we not notice that he got shot in the head? <laughs> High velocity. Temporary cavity in brain tissue. Small exit wound on the occiput. How does that sound? Say nothing, just nod. That was, Opinion, that was a lot. Fatal injury. Agreed. Wait, <laughs> I'm still not sure? Come on, man. Agreed. And one last thing. We can now fill in injury number three. Ligament mark. Opinion non-fatal. Post-mortem. Treatment. Treatment? As I said, treatment is an attempt to manipulate the body after death. Yeah. To hide the real cause with a false cause. In this case, this injury here. Yeah. The ligament mark, the fractured hyoid bone, it was all treatment. Yes, and the belt around his neck. The hanging, even dragging him to the yard. All of it was done after this man was already dead. Agreed. We are smart detectives. High five, Kim. I have had my doubts for a while now. <laughs> since I saw there were no signs of struggle on his hands. And no claw marks on his neck. Yeah. And he was wearing a ton of armor, too. There have been other signs, too. Small thing. We were right not to assign hanging as cause of death. As the perpetrators expected wow. we would. No such luck for them. I wonder, because I could have just turned in the body without knowing that. I wonder how that would change the game. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to watch videos when I'm done. <laughs> uh, Azunti, I'm here. I just flew back in into KC. Sorry if I missed most of the stream. Welcome in, welcome in. I'm sorry that I didn't notice you're here because I was too busy being traumatized by the corpse search. Glad you missed it. It was horrific. How's your ice cream? <laughs> oh, it's so gross. Asynthetic. I mean, there's no exit wound, and the entry wound was in his mouth. Makes sense that you missed it. Yeah, that's true. But I feel like, I mean, unless it was a tiny, tiny bullet, it would still make a huge mess of the mouth. But I don't know. I don't ever want to investigate that again. So he we'll, didn't we'll fall just for move it. On. He thinks <laughs> there's pride in there. Oh my gosh. Maybe the bullet holds more answers. Yes, we should take a closer look at it. I am certain it has more to tell us. This visceral, descriptive, son of a bitch game. This little thing could reveal much about the weapon that shot it. I think 
think I need to wash myself. <laughs> I am so bloody and gross. Oh, you really, really do. Yeah, yeah. I am glad to hear you say that. Mm -hmm. Your room in the Whirling in Rice should come with a bathroom. Be sure to make use of it in the evening. I will. Oh, I'm such a dummy. I didn't need to go into the kitchen after all. I could have washed it in my sink. The boots. Oh my goodness. Guys, we're washing off the boots. We bag the corpse and carry him to the holding pen of my kinema. I can transport him to processing myself, but I will be gone for the rest of the day. Day without Kim! Party! Let's do all of the bad decisions that Kim doesn't let us do. Work on the case. Tend to personal matters. Try not to do anything too dangerous. An officer needs backup in a neighborhood like this. Okay, I'm gonna do all of the dangerous things. I'll leave that choice to you. And one more thing. Great work, detective. Thanks, Kim. High five. The word lingers in the air of the basement. Far away, ice cream makers are buzzing and the sea wind blows outside. Detective. Hmm. Hell yeah. After you bag the corpse, Lieutenant Kitsuragi will leave the party until tomorrow morning. You can do side tasks and even the main case, mm. but it might be more difficult. Plan his exit accordingly. Interesting. Interesting. I'll leave the party until tomorrow morning. Interesting. Well, I can always come back here. It's in a fridge. I can't believe we did it. That was disgusting. What the hell is this? A thick layer of cold dust covers the furnace, coloring it pitch black. This is intense for under a bookstore. Looks like this furnace has a face and it's a face of agony. Kim, I cannot handle any more terror right now. It's dark and grimy here. In the darkness you can hear chatter. It's coming from above. A it's... voice or several voices talking to each other. Near the smoke chamber, upstairs. This says you mean extra ice cream without Kim. <laughs> Yes, and all of the cigarettes and alcohol that I can find. Ha ha ha. The echo is so prominent, it's impossible to discern what the voices are saying or what's producing them. What are you doing? <laughs> the lieutenant asks when he sees you climb halfway inside the furnace. Oh, I hear the murder of the hanged man talking. What? I'm not sure, Kim, but I think I can hear someone upstairs. Wait, really? You should investigate. See if someone's upstairs. Well, where would we be right now? So we went below the bookstore. Wouldn't it just be the bookstore? Let's leave. I'm sure it's the lady yelling about a curse. Ice cream maker defrosted and unplugged. Oh, there's a little path back here. The flashlight casts a strange shadow. There's a hidden doorway here. What? Oh my god, I didn't even see it. Thank god it told me. Two rusty rifles are hidden above the piping. They look inoperable. A few bricks have fallen off, revealing a compartment behind the wall. It's too dark to see in. Look, there's a hole in the wall. Shine the light. There is, yes. And there also appears to be something inside the hole. Interesting. Do you want to take a look? Hmm. Do I have higher perception than Kim? <laughs> Not sure of Kim's stats, so let's do it. Your hand reaches deep into darkness and spiderwebs. Rummaging around, you find rusty rifles hidden away. Inspect the rifles. Most of them are rusty and inoperable like the rest, but one catches hey, your Odysseus. eye. Hey, Odysseus, welcome Bolt in. action model with a fine woodstock. How are you doing? Is the game getting more fun? Than the others. It is. It is. I just had a really visceral, horrific corpse exploration uh, where I shoved my hand inside a dead guy's skull. So that's something that I did this Thursday. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think so. I think it's a good 
kind of investigative vibe right now. I really feel like I'm cracking the case, even though I'm probably really far away from it. But it's good to see you. What have you been up to? Take it. You're a police officer. Police officers carry guns. Ooh, let's take this rifle. That's a rare sight. Seems to no longer be functional, but still a beautiful thing in its own way. Where are we? Seems like an old bunker from the revolutionary period. Look at all those rifles. Must be an old weapons cache. Bye. Cool. Well, if anyone asks me about my gun, now at least I have this old rifle to brandish. Someone has stuck busted guns beneath the ceiling. Yikes. Hey, Synthetic, I got to head to bed, but I really appreciate the vibe. Hope I can catch more streams in the future. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping in. It was really good to meet you. Yeah, come on by. We're here Thursdays with uh, video games, and then if you're into RPGs, uh, Sundays, Sunday mornings is our, our day for that. So yeah, fun hanging out. Come on by whenever. Um, as long as it's on those two days. <laughs> or sometimes Friday. There's an ice cream maker that's still running. Ooh, does that mean we can get ice cream? There's a lot to explore down here. Oh yeah, I write freelance 5e content for my day job, so I love TTRPGs. Heck yeah, that's awesome. Um, what's your handle? Is your handle asynthetic on Twitter? I can drop a link for you. Have a good night. Two cables are plugged into the breaker box. The red one leads to the ice beer fridge and the black one to the ice cream maker nearby. Ooh. Um, wow, I don't want to unplug my fridge. Black one. Something close to you dies with a soft electric purr. Why did you do that? Um, I don't know why I unplugged it. I do things <laughs> without any reason. The lieutenant raises his brows, but doesn't say anything. The electric distribution board now has one cable missing. Plug it in. Somewhere, a machine hums along with the current. So weird. I wonder why that's an option. Asynthetic on Twitch and Twitter. Oh, Asynthetic20. Here, let me see if I can do internet things. Internet things. Uh, yes, I can. I am good at the internet, sort of. Check out Twitter. Oh, and Twitch. Oh, psh, that would have been easier. I can do that very easily. Easier, I guess. Boom. I did that already. Wow. <laughs> Hello. I'm failing my own perception checks on my life. Thanks for stopping by. Oh yeah, the Twitch. I have the Twitter one here anyway. Boom again. Double boom. Love supporting great creators. Um, I do believe we just found clothes. Wow. Plus one drama, clinically insane. Where did you even get that one? No, really, who put that in the drawer? No further comments, wear it at your own risk. Well, you know I'm gonna put this on. Oh, my jacket covers it. Oh God, really? Sorry, Kim, this is happening. Intercom wires, what's this? Whoa. Cool! Oh man, I had no idea we were under here. Cool, cool. All right, well, now that we can get in here easily, that's even better. <laughs> Just yes, well, love your character's clothes. Thank you. It's a fashion statement. <laughs> All right, what time we got here? All right, I'm gonna take a quick bio break. Stick around, we're going to uh, be back with more of of this guy. 
so <laughs> don't go anywhere. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, we'll be right back.
right, we are back with more of Disco Elysium. Sorry, cop edition. I wasn't kidding when I said I had to eat dinner after that disgusting description, so it was gross. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to try and turn down my lights here. Might have to adjust my camera. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe, maybe like a little more chill. That's still, am I all fuzzy now? Let's see. Ooh, it's okay. All right, I'll take it. Better than blinding myself. Odysseus, I really like your Be Right Back intermission. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, it's pretty groovy. Uh, I think it's uh, Kevin McLeod does a lot of um, rights-free music. So you'll probably hear his stuff in a lot of RPG games, too. All right, I think we're ready. I can't believe I'm wearing this mess mesh shirt. Ooh. This has been such a good area for game progress. Hydrate. <laughs> good call. <laughs> good call, Odysseus. Cheers. Thanks for the hydrate. Oh, and I said this earlier too, but I'm looking to get um, some new channel point redeems. So if you guys have fun ideas, um, you can drop them in chat or let me know on Twitter if you need to percolate on it. Let me drop my socials. Um, so yeah, if you follow on Twitter, that's where all, all the stream planning magic happens. Um, if you have a fun idea for a redeem. Oh, another hydrate. Cheers, Turbo Jerky. Are you still playing Elden Ring Turbo Jerky? Is that the vibe tonight? What about one where we can give a hint? Oh man, but like how much is that gonna be abused when I'm sucking at Outer Wilds, the expansion? <laughs> it's like, redeem, hey, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> redeem, yeah, you're still doing it wrong. But it's an interesting reward system. It means if you watch a lot and suffer through me doing it wrong, you get to tell me not to. All right. Thank you so much, little girl. You have saved us all. <laughs> How's Elden Ring tonight, Turbo Jerky? I'm trying to get Turbo Jerky to stream Elden Ring. We'll see if that's ever a thing. I will not be streaming it because that would be painful for everyone in the world. I think. I haven't tried it out myself, but I think it requires a level of patience and precision that I'm just not willing to put forth in my downtime. <laughs> do what do we do all right so we kind of have a break with the corpse thing oh yeah we're stinky okay talk to titus and establish authority find booze that's definitely on the list Ooh, apparently there was a pissing match between Precinct 41 and Precinct 57. I guess I could ask him about that now. Hey, Kim. Tell me about our feud. Yes? I want to talk about you? Me? Yeah, you. I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. 
oh, maybe I can only ask him once we take the body to processing and he comes back? Come on, Lieutenant. Open up a little. Ah, if you insist. What do you want to know? Tell me a secret. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, okay. The Lieutenant nods. <laughs> mm-hmm. Good. Let's change the subject. Goodbye. All right, well, can't do that many task. Let's go wash the stink off me. It's a very chill task. What could possibly go wrong? Ooh, we've got some ideas coming in. Options for XP spending. Stretch, check your posture, tell a joke. Oh no. Oh, what are you doing to yourself? <laughs> you don't want to hear that. I have a D&D &D game right now that I'm running. It's a heavily modded Lost Minds of Fandalver with pretty much, I would say, a quasi first time player and then two definitely first time players. And one of them built a character that's a jokester. And so we developed a system um, where they can gain like joke XP for just telling in-game, in-character jokes to eventually level the performance stat. Um, so we, we hear a lot of corny jokes and, and a year ago, you know, this sounded like a good idea a year ago, but it's been a year of, of evolving corny jokes. So that's what you guys will be getting from me. <laughs> it's going to be rough. Kim, I need to wash up, but I guess I can't do that with you here. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. It's barely covered in... Okay, I guess I'll do that later when you're gone. I'm just going to be stinky, but all right. <laughs> 10K karaoke. Oh, God, you guys just want to torture yourselves. <laughs> I do love karaoke. But um, there are actual streamers that can sing really well. Yeah, that's all I have to say about that. I need to at least take stock of my life. Turbo Jerky, do you remember any of them? Uh, Turbo Jerky would love to hear a joke. It's tough. I lost my XP to a giant rat <laughs> from Elden Ring. Joke. Man, see, so the players come up with the jokes, not me. Although, I did create a foil NPC to one of the players, their sister. And so I did have to look up a bunch of dad jokes and prep those so that the characters could feel like they were on the same wavelength. I like these ideas though, but most of them are um, embarrassing for me. <laughs> so we'll, th we'll think about it. But I mean, big point redeem. Gotta cash it in. What do I do? I really feel like I need to find more areas. Like the armor quest. I've got the smoker on the balcony at night. Oh, I'm gonna have to pay Gart again. God damn it, Gart. Check twice to see whether you've done all corpse-related tasks. Oh, wow, you guys, I just noticed this thing on the right. Name unknown, rank unknown. Superstar cop, apocalypse cop. Okay, this is kind of how my personality is developing. I've got eight sorry cop. That sounds right. I've got five points in communist. Okay. 
eight points in good cop, bad cop. Interesting. Huh. Found that out just by not knowing what to do in my journal. Let's, where were we on the whole lady driver thing? That was something tangible. Find smokes, find armor gloves. I don't see lady driver in this. Did I already find her? <laughs> Holy moly. I remember a description of her. And I remember the guy saying, find someone else to rat her out. Uh, that's kind of right where we were too. He was like, other lorry drivers will tell you. Is it this guy? The guy that, I, uh, yeah. saw you poking around in Lady Driver's lorry. Oh, yeah. Is she in trouble? I found her lorry. I busted the window. Oh, she's got all those pinup girls. It's all coming back to me. There's going to be an investigation. It's that bad. Man, what should I do? What should I do to help her? Oh, he loves her so much. I really don't know. Damn. I always want her to watch herself. Man, nothing to do now, I guess. <laughs> Odysseus, I'd pay about 7.5k 7, 7 for one. 3k dog reveal. Oh, yeah, we got to get the dogs. The dog cam, that's a good idea. I would pay 10k for a dad joke. Are we talking real money? <laughs> Odysseus is throwing down 10k for a real life dad joke. Maybe I should just keep my head down and work on my rhymes while I can. I had another question. The man taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. Do you have any smokes? I need the smokes. Nope. Don't smoke. You freaking liar. Some of the other dry. Hey, isn't he like smoking right now? Yeah. The sm okay. But this oh, is my yeah. last one. And it's That's a bad right. habit. You should quit before both of us have lung cancer. Okay, so I did find her, Lori. I forgot, but I didn't find her. That's right. All right, all right. Well, I've heard of other areas, such as... A little fishing village in the south. I just don't know if I have access to other areas yet. Or if I have to resolve this area first. Hmm. Oh shit. Oh, I thought that guy was dead. He's just standing here. I think he has the same posture as the corpse. <laughs> oh god. I thought things got real sour over here. Hey, Freet. Can I buy some medicine, please? A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. They all bear the Saint Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. Ooh, plus three morale. Wow. I guess I'll take some magnesium for now. Okay, here. I hope Saint Baptiste makes you feel better or something. <laughs> this girl. Okay, that should be good. Maybe some Nosafed. Okay, here. I hope Saint Baptiste makes you feel better or something. What to do, what to do. Well, let's think it through. Plot wise. I 
I just have all these loose threads. Kind of feel like maybe I need to go to a new area. Ask the little girl in the fishing village. Yeah, see, I don't know how to leave this area. Oh, give the dog a treat for XP. Oh my gosh, my dogs would love that. That would be great. They'd be so happy too. <laughs> I think that's the problem with just a generalized dog cam is my dogs are very cat-like in nature sometimes. So if the dog cam was on them, they'd just be like, what? <laughs> but if we give them a treat, we get the best of them. Love that idea. So many like Skyrim accepted quests. I have so many tiny things to do, but I'm so lost. Like, back when Elizabeth was my friend and she used to tell me where things were, there's definite areas, geographic areas, and there's a place in the south, but like, very unclear to me how to get there. Maybe I need to wait till the bridge is back? Let's talk to Joyce. Joyce knows stuff about the bridge. I'm just not feeling the plot threads come together for me. That guy was shot. The union guys did it. Made it look like treatment that he was hung. Are they covering for somebody? Like, am I, I mean, they're fine with saying we killed him. But did they? Why would they go through the trouble of making it look like it was them when he was shot? You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Um, oh yeah, and that guy had all those cool tattoos. God damn it, Joyce. None of that's helpful. Maybe the strike, I don't know. Good. Everything. Right up to, but not including, trade secrets. Joyce, what's your role? I believe the official title is Senior Labor Negotiator. In practice, I'm a grocery clerk. I relay the union's demands to Wild Pines and return with Wild Pines' counteroffer. Mm-hmm. And how are the talks going? They're not. That's the problem. The union stopped all negotiations a week ago, after that awful lynching took place. Odysseus, ask him for any insight to where to go next. Yeah, that's a good idea. Kim has his shit together. Now they won't even let me into the harbor. There's a two meter 20 racist behemoth blocking the gates. Oh, you mean Measurehead? Yes, Jean-Luc Measurehead. <laughs> How are the talks going before the lynching? Let's say I was not making the kind of progress I'd hoped for when I first arrived. And when did you first arrive? I arrived three weeks ago. Yes, in the middle of February. The bay was still partially frozen then. I prefer to do these things on site, like the RCM. So as you're not a remote worker. But the strike began in December. I wasn't the original negotiator here. I took over after Mr. Gaumont hit a wall with Mr. Clare, the union boss. Mr. Clare refused to speak with Gaumont despite concessions he'd granted the union in prior negotiations. This isn't the first time the union has gone on strike. Heavens no. Unions are always there going have on strike, been two bro. prior strikes. Labor is always times, unjust. The union won significant concessions, including overtime pay and a medical plan. This time their demands are more, I guess you could say, aggressive. What are their demands? There are leaflets everywhere and banners. What did they say again? Oh yes, every worker, a member of the board. Member of the board. Oh yeah, that's the thing that's in charge of this town. Huh. 
Hmm. I don't know what to think about that. Fortunately, they explained it. Every time the Wild Pines group makes a decision about anything, it needs the signature of each of the 2,200 workers in its Martinez terminal. Just so you understand, this is but one of 22 terminals owned by Wild Pines. Essentially, not only are they kings of the company, they are also kings of the 72,000 employees of Wild Pines Group. I was going to say, uh, kings. Sounds like they have power. But do they have real power? That may well be. It's not up to me to decide who is king, but as negotiations go, it's not a swell start. I'm not sure. Naturally, I assume that was just their opening position. A hard-nosed tactic with a side of mockery. But there's been no follow-up, just the same nonsensical slogan repeated over and over again. It's not exactly nonsensical, you just explained it. And now, people are getting lynched, I hear. Behind the whirling in rags. A disastrous situation if there ever was one. What do you mean you hear? We've talked about this in detail. Excuse me, from whom did you hear about this lynching? I first heard it from the boyer at the gates. The one hey, whose very Todd. name advertises his aversion Welcome to in. work. I think he said it was What's up? Yana. Oh my god, that's quite a raid. Welcome, raiders. Oh my god. I'm like waving to you guys like you just walked in the room. Hi, guys. Holy moly. Okay, I gotta pause. There's like so much stuff happening. What's up, all? <laughs> Let me wave to you. <laughs> welcome in, welcome in. I waved to the chat screen instead. Holy moly. We're just talking to Joyce, being all chill, and this raid comes in? <laughs> Welcome in. Let's do a shout out. And I fix my shout outs. Thanks for the raid. Hello, all. Let me do my spiel. So you caught us in the middle of talking to Joyce. <laughs> She's doing like a full on lore dump. So I was like deep in thought. And this party raid comes in. What were you guys playing? Table, oh, you played the, um, that cool 80s game. How did that go? Thank you for following everyone, by the way. I can't even keep up with all this stuff. Holy moly, youngles, hey, what's up? Welcome, welcome. Hey, Candace. Oh my gosh, you guys. I haven't even told you guys about this today. I'm going to play in a game tomorrow. You know how I said we do stuff on Fridays sometimes? Tomorrow is one of those sometimes. I think it's tomorrow. This has been quite a week. I'm going to be in Monster Hunters Club with Candace. Actually, can I shout out Candace too? I think I can. Let's do it. Candace. Spelling, always the thing. Did that work? I believe so. Yeah, so I'm gonna be in Monster Hunters Club. Candace is GMing. Um, Todd's gonna be a player tomorrow too. It's gonna be wild. I don't wanna spoil too much, but I'm going to be hopefully the most annoying character of the party. That's my goal. We'll see, I don't know. Maybe someone's gonna give me a run for my money, but we'll be monster hunting in the 80s. So I'm really stoked. Oh, you were streaming Hades on your channel, huh? That's awesome. I've seen a bit of that game. Yes, Street Wolves. So for those of you who weren't watching Street Ro Wolves because you were watching me talk to Joyce Messier <laughs> and saw the murder in Disco, um, check out Todd's VODs because that game's going to be dope. And if you want more 80s, we will be RPGing in the 80s tomorrow too over on Todd's channel. Thanks for all the follows, guys. <laughs> Tomo says that's awesome. Also the character I go for. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. You you just test the, the will of the party, <laughs> their moral fortitude, all the things. Of course. How else can I help? Oh, man. Did anyone tell me about Street Wolves? How was it? And did you win? <laughs> did you win Street Wolves? How does one win an RPG? 
Speaking of winning. By the way, Raiders. I don't know if you've seen how cool I look in the game. But this is the look. This is this is the hero of time right here. An alcoholic, depressed, mesh wearing detective? That's me. Todd, it was amazing. They saved the girl, so yes. Good. That is how you measure success in RPGs. Fetch quest, check. That's awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to catch up with the mod. The character's name is Zelda, right? Yes, this is me and Zelda. <laughs> you guys have come into a weird reskin of Legend of Zelda. <laughs> I can't even imagine. So you've caught me in a what do we do next moment. I'm gonna to talk to my partner here, Kim. He's the one with all the brains. I'm just the beauty, obviously. Um, let's see if Kim can help us figure out what to do next. Cause yes. we, okay, so for those who were watching, you know, whenever I was starting this out, we're solving a murder. I had the corpse. I was investigating the corpse, missed some checks needed to find a fridge to buy myself some more time and I found the fridge so that's where we are in the game now I just need to solve the murder Valerie the big question is does he use old spice and is your character wearing oven mitts these are all very great questions um yes he does use old spice actually kind of in game right now I, I smell like a dead body uh, one of my tasks is to wash off the smell of death. So, yeah, that's how this game is going. Another one of my tasks is to find booze and drink it. Um, and sing karaoke. Th this is just all a day in the life. <laughs> and is my character wearing oven mitts? He's wearing garden gloves. Um that were given to him by who I thought was a gardener, but turned out to be a union boss representative. So you really never know who your friends are. Kim, what should I do next? What do you want to know? Um, now that we've inspected the scene, I want to know more about this. Oh, I can ask him. I want to know more about this pissing competition you mentioned. What's there to say? It's just stupidity. What kind of stupidity? The cop kind. Our precincts can decide if Martinez is part of Jamrock or the Industrial Harbor. Yours or mine. As if we somehow own parts of the city. Typical street gang mentality. So we've let the Union make a mockery of law enforcement here. And now it's come to its natural conclusion. Oh boy. So the struggle over who runs Martinez? Well, sort of. It's less a matter of who gets to police Martinez than who has to. It's an orphan district, in other words. I think the dispatch desk just told both our stations about hey, the... Hey, Hammer, thanks for the follow. It was quite the brouhaha at the 57th, I can tell you that. Time to settle it, they said. Cop off. But I assure you, I am not their finest or toughest with 102 cases solved. Aww. What I am is least interested in a pissing competition. Okay, I, I, I feel like this is me and Kim developing our relationship. I actually just need to know where to go next. So Kim, I'm going to ask you this again later. Yes, it's a wholly pointless matter. Forget I ever Shit. mentioned it. <laughs> Kim, I just, I do care. I really care. I just kind of fast-tracked our conversation. I apologize. He's actually glad it's addressed now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I have a new check. Okay, so for those of you who play RPGs, the reason I'm really into this game right now is because it's pretty much like a video gamified RPG. So while we go through the world, we do dialogue checks, this is actually a rolling check. So I can add stats, I can add buffs. Um, the things I do in game can actually modify my level of success on this check. And it's, I'm really dumb, so I have a logic of one. This is my build. I'm a, a very emotional 
I'm a himbo. Um, I'm really buff and I'm dumb. And I'm a little crazy. So, yeah. Yeah, man. I wish I was in some kind of like trail of the mystery right now, but I really just don't know where to go next. I feel like this always happens to me around this time. <laughs> <laughs> you ever go to work and it, right after lunch, it's like that lull in the day where you're digesting and you read the same email like three times. That is me in the game right now. I don't have any concrete task to do until like 9 p.m. in game. So I got to make some mischief, basically. Should we just try the check, even though we're going to fail? Why did the 41st district send me, Kim? I didn't listen to what you said. I apologize. I'm a sorry cop. Because you're the best qualified. No, that doesn't seem right. Dumb brain. I'm good for nothing. You look dumb if you keep the lieutenant waiting for too long. Oh, that was sad. Okay. All right. Well, we could talk. Oh, we can go to um, Gart. I think I had business with Gart. Here's the gardener who lent me her gloves. Slash union boss. Can I help you? Oh man, I don't know if we want to go down this road. Do I have a shaker in my hand? Is this, <laughs> is this a shaker? No, Gart, it's not. He sounds irritated. Say nothing. Am I wearing a little bow tie? Am I wearing a bow tie <laughs> and doing this? Oh God, he shakes the imaginary shaker furiously. Am I smiling? Do you see me smiling and shaking my little shaker? No. Do you know why? Because you're not a bartender? That's right. I'm the cafeteria manager. We got five XP for that. <laughs> I'm glad we cleared that. Is there anything else? Oh, man. You don't understand the seriousness of the situation. I'm an alcoholic. I need my fix. Even more reason for me not to serve you, sir. Was there anything else you needed other than alcohol? Gotta go. All right. Who was it that suggested I talk to Kim? Was it before the shenanigans? Oh, man. Chat's bumping. Okay. Raid, raid, raid. Shenanigans. Odysseus. <laughs> Love the 5 XP game. It was me. So I tried to talk to Kim and we got into like a really existential conversation. Yes? Does Kim give me like special hints? Should I say I can't remember anything? No response. He just arches his brow. A moment passes. The lieutenant glances <laughs> at the sports watch on his wrist. Odysseus is like, yep, yep, that checks out. Oh, the case review. So I'm also struggling finding my way around the world here. I know I have to find a bridge. Let's see, let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, we have some weird stuff we haven't looked at yet. Boots with rotting flesh. Bullet mushroomed out on impact. The bullet is safely sealed away in a plastic bag bearing the RCM stamp. <laughs> Kim has filled out the label on the bag with the item number, case number, and date and location the bullet was found. Odysseus is like, I've never played the game. I'm discovering the game with you. 
that's the best kind of hint. <laughs> that's the kind of hint we love. Beside his orderly handwriting, the bullet looks especially sad, like a tiny, shriveled head of cauliflower. What do I do with you, bullet? What? <laughs> I said, what do I do with you, bullet? Well, if I was the bullet, which I'm not, I would say, find the weapon that shot me. Good idea. If we find who owns it, yes, we I've got a task. We found who used it. Oh my goodness. To kill our victim. In conclusion, the more we know about this bullet of yours, the better. Fabulous. All right, let's look at all of our things. Handwritten note. For oh my God, we didn't even look to the fridge note. Wow. The note is written with a blue pencil on a piece of lined office paper. The kitchen magnets have left spots on its surface. Does it say anything interesting? This is tangential at best, but the lieutenant's detective instinct is still active. Read that note. Someone has scribbled. S, I can't believe the off-site copy is still here. The illiterate ginger kid keeps stealing stuff from the studio, <laughs> so I had to hide it somewhere safe. Oh, it's Kuno. You'll find the filament memory with the off-site copy in the frozen ice cream <gasps> maker. Please what? take it home, ASAP. What? It's important. I'd do it myself if I lived in a civilized place with a freezer. Take care, Suliswaf. Amazing. I wonder if that's one of the creators of this game. The frozen ice cream maker. Isn't that in the basement? I don't know. I assume it's somewhere close to the ice bear fridge. Yeah. Didn't you see one right next to the breaker box? I did indeed. That's why I get to turn it off. Side quest! Excuse me, Lena. Oh, direction. I love it. All right, all right, all right. I wonder if I have This to orange it. machine is buzzing like an old submarine. It, you slip your fingers under the frozen lid. <laughs> Kim but the carrying ice the team. <laughs> is too cold for you to get a good grip. A pry bar would come in handy here. If you want Excellent. to try again, then you need to have the pry. Equip the pry bar by go. All right, all right. I'm equipping the pry bar. Friends, it is happening. We are doing a slightly less important test. This orange machine is buzzing like an old submarine. Ooh, wow. It has a hand-cranked ice cream chair on top not strong and enough. an electric freezer that appears to be frozen shut. Minus 20? You know what? I think we need to thaw this bad boy. Oops. Two cables are plugged into the breaker box. The red one, something close to you. Why did you do that? Uh, it's not, it's black. I, it's not like, it's the red one. The lieutenant raises his brows, but doesn't say anything. All right, let's just wait for this to melt away. This orange machine is dead still. It has a hand-cranked ice cream churner and an electric freezer. The ice around it slowly melting. Minus 20 is significant. Maybe I need to get the ice cream out. Turning the crank feels oddly satisfying, like stirring your childhood dreams. In the distance, you hear water dripping. It's all gone now. You'll never become a poet or an entrepreneur. What better to assuage the creeping sense of failure than some <laughs> frozen fat and sugar? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Existential crisis and ice cream is hand in hand. It's true. Apparently we need a stronger tool. All right. Well, I thought we were on to something, but apparently we have to come back for this one too, guys. Oh, man. I think we just need to navigate better. Somewhere there's a little girl in a southern city. Somewhere there's a female lorry driver named Lady Driver. 
These people have got to be in a different part of the town. This one looks closed off, though. I was kind of hoping when we were talking to Joyce and she was super unhelpful that she would tell me about the bridge. Everything's still cool here, officer. See, Lang's the one that told me about Lady Driver. What am I missing? I feel very stuck. And we're only on day two. Maybe we should tell this guy some tea. Right to work. Right to <laughs> Odysseus, I mean, ice cream is the answer to a broken and sad relationship. Hey, bud, what's your goal? We were promised work. We'd be in there, working, if the bastards hadn't shut the gates. Can't you get in there, bud? Main gate's locked. It would take heavy ordnance to bust it open. I'd try to get in through the secretary's office. Door's locked. And I don't mean the scrawny mess punk either. I mean head measurer. Have you considered Whatever storming in? Why don't you go arrest them? Yeah, that's my job, isn't I'm it? Sure it would be better for the neighborhood if you went home, at least for now, if you can't get in anyway. No! They will give up eventually. Or get drunk. Ooh. Keep the button unguarded. Then we charge. All right. I mean, it's been a day, and they haven't done that yet. Maybe we can talk to... Uh, our good friend Union McUnion boss. All right, we gotta shake off this afternoon malaise. Looks like the circus left town, but the clowns are still here. <laughs> Titus, that's what you said last time. Oh yeah, we can tell him about the bullet. A bullet, you say? That's mighty curious. Yeah, isn't it? Indeed. Mighty. How did it get there? Well, there are so many bullets in the world, and so many heads. Ah, <sighs> I guess it's only logical. At some point, one of them bullets had to end up in one of them heads. This guy knew, so he did it. It's bound to happen again, you know? Just statistically speaking, of course. Elaine, you're vaguely threatening me. I think the hanging was a cover-up for the shooting. You know what I think? I think he was shot in the head as a kid, and his brain grew around the bullet. Oh, that's good. Around the bullet, man. That's a good one. It is a good one, Elaine. I'm going to agree with you on that one. They're only pretending to enjoy this. Beneath the act, they don't like you knowing this. Yeah. I'm going to show them the bullet then. Wow. He's got it in a real evidence bag and all. Shanky, you think you're cool? You're not cool? Why didn't you go home and log it into evidence? These men have told you what happened. I can't believe Elizabeth is on their side. Um, I guess I'm gonna ask the last option. Shit! I probably did shoot him. <laughs> I was drunk last night. You guys know me when I'm drunk. Glenn, I forgot how cool your voice was. <laughs> it makes sense about growing up with a bullet inside. Yeah, Glenn likes to shoot his guns when he's drunk. Better hope he stays sober. No, he meant before he was hanged. Did you shoot him before you hanged him? <laughs> These are important questions. The people want to know. Before? After? During? This is getting ridiculous. They told you what happened. Stop wasting your time. Damn, Elizabeth. Bye. Never been worried in my life, Lawman. Oof. We are gaining some... some clout, though. Check. Should we try it? Let's try it. Establish Damn. authority. 
Yes. Authority. Feverish thoughts race through your mind. Damn. Oh, jeez. I'm the only thing keeping this town from going to hell, and you're not helping. And what exactly is it you've been doing that's so goddamn special? Shitting yourself in front of us. Going around, harassing kids on the street. Kids who've done nothing wrong. All the while talking racist shit. Don't think we aren't watching fascia. People here trust us. We're getting complaints. I haven't said anything racist. Of course you have. You've been calling people kip left and right, inciting race violence in my town. That's a lie. Tali said they've been trying to set up a race rally, whatever the fuck that means, trying to get the kips out of Revishaw before the economy goes to shit. Uh, that's a lie? There's no race rally. Sure there is. Tali said they're both purchasing confetti, ribbons too, and loudspeakers. What? And fireworks. Kali works at the carnival shop, you see? What? Get the fuck out of here, you racist carny. There'll be no race rally in my town. What? What happened? We got absolutely wiped. <laughs> Let's go before it gets worse. Yeah, no kidding, Kim. What's going on? Are you racist? Now? I don't think so. Is the rally real? Uh, questionable. Please don't set up any rally. It'll make you look awful. I'm not setting up a rally. <laughs> okay. Authority. Okay, looks like we're investing in authority. Because that's a lead that I really feel like we can move forward with. We could just... Whoa, did you guys see that that shirt disappears when I'm by the door? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's the little things in life, truly. Looking good, looking good, buddy. I'm glad you enjoyed that as well, Odysseus, because <laughs> it truly is the little things. Okay, we kind of move forward a bit. Kind of. Find the murder weapon for a ballistics analysis. How the hell do I do that? In my inventory? Oh yeah, the rifle too. Civil Savage. I mean, it's normal to take off your shirt when walking through doors, right? Yeah, I mean, especially in like a post-war uh, apocalyptic society, it's common practice. People are just tearing their shirts off and then opening doors with them. we can't interact with the rifle <laughs> for dramatic effect totally or even better without drama just like stoic serious just like a slow shirt take off <laughs> open door <laughs> walk through re-put shirt the bullet is still safely sealed away in a plastic bag bearing the rcm stamp Odysseus, maybe Carly would tell you something about the murder and give you clues who did it. Who the hell is Carly? <laughs> That's my question. <laughs> Was Carly one of those dudes? I don't remember Carly. I don't think I have an NPC bank either. What do I do with you, bullet? Let's inspect the bullet. The jacket of the bullet is made of a yellowish metal. It has blossomed out to reveal a dark gray core. The base of the bullet is close to five millimeters in diameter. And the core? It's quite destroyed. Some of the fragments are still lodged in the wound. Nope, not going back there ever. Look at the jacket. You can just about make out a few strations near the base of the bullet. Little hairlines, linear. It feels standard. What can you say about the bullet so far? A uh, jacketed bullet, close to five millimeters. A jacketed bullet. Okay. It would have been shot from a military-grade breech-loading rifle. 
not from a muzzle loader like those typically found on the streets of Martinez. So maybe they used his own gun. Even the RCM uses ordinary injected conical bullets. This is strange, very strange. I like this, officer. Strange means unique. Unique means incriminating. We need to find the gun that shot it. But honestly, it was probably that guy's gun. Something tells you that won't be any time soon. This will have to be one of those epic tasks that's open for a while. Oh no. <laughs> Hand-eye coordination. Try to determine what type of weapon shot this. Let's do it. Oh, because we found the rifle. Awesome. You can't remember Damn. what happened last week. <laughs> what makes you think you're going to remember Arcane Fire? <sighs> we were so set up for that one. Okay. I'm even good in that stat. All right, all right. That sucks. It's just a racist mug. What's there to read here? Not much. Oh, did I not select the right path? It's just a racist. Oh boy, here we go. What are you going to say about a broken, tossed away mug that you dug out of the garbage? I'm honestly not sure th what the significance of this item is. This mug is an example of prejudice. I'm going to use it as an example of what not to do. But it was in the trash. Why not just call it out when you see it? Or do some volunteering work? Just finish your case, detective. I really don't know why I have that mug. It's so strange. Have I interacted with this book before? The front of this quarterly journal features a large satirical portrait of the late King Frieza. From the sides of his head, a pair of white antlers spread to the corners of the cover. Flip through the pages. To your disappointment, there aren't any full-color <laughs> pictures to direct your attention. Just column after column of closely like set text, interrupted occasionally by little doodles in black and white. After rifling the pages with your thumb several times, you return to the table of contents. The magazine is divided into several sections. Oh International development, Kunst und Kultur, and local concerns. Just inside the cover, there's also an editor's note. Now I think this must give me XP, hopefully. Read the editor's note? Comrade, as you know, this journal takes its name from Mazov's immortal expression. Oh boy. Du cristal a la fume. This was his way of describing the way the rigid, crystalline structures of capitalist ideology turned to smoke under communism. But, like the structures of capitalist ideology, we too are at risk of going a la fume. Unlike many publications which are content to spoon-feed their readers reassuring drivel, la fume is committed to telling the radical truth, even when that truth may drive away potential subscribers. Hell yeah, preach. So please, if you value our radical Mazovian perspective on contemporary politics, culture, and international affairs. Please consider subscribing today. I think I get this Yours magazine. Yours <laughs> in struggle, the editors. Kim, this is a communist magazine. What do you expect? It was laying around the office of the Debardeurs Union. They are probably bankrolling this thing. Of course. You flip back to the front of the magazine. I didn't even get the any lore. Ugh, did we read about that? No lore, no XP. What do we do now? What do we do? Oh boy. There's gotta be an area that I can't get to, right? All you video game people. People that play video games. This one's for you. Am I supposed to be able to get to another area or am I supposed to cache this area? Because they told me a north, south, east and west but I feel like the borders of the world are 
Pretty defined. I have this task though. The gloves. Ask the little girl in the fishing village down the coast. What's that all about? Part of me is thinking I need to find a way to get the bridge down, but talk to Joyce. Granted, we got distracted by a really dope raid, but Joyce was also full of her usual aphorisms and not much help. I'm kind of at the phase of like showing things to people I've already talked to, you know, where you're like, hey, buddy, I've seen you before, but have you seen this? And like shove a new item in their face. Hey, Sybil, thanks for the follow. Appreciate the love because I'm struggling right now. Here, let's do that to her. Hey, have you seen this gun? I found it. Give me a moment. Dang. Not even a new dialogue option. All right, I'm crowdsourcing ideas. <laughs> Is there another place on the balcony we can go? Oh, I wonder if Cindy is still there. Hello again, officers. Have What's you up, come Cindy? to admire my Miura? Is that bed in the coal room yours? No, that's Grandma's. Oh, not only have you found my address, you've discovered my biggest secret. I'm a coal miner. No, you're not. She does have eyes that seem to be smeared with coal. Um, cool. Shoot, piggy. It's what you do, isn't it? Yeah, you got my number, Cindy. Guys, we're just shooting the shit with Cindy at this point. What do we do? What do we do? How can we look this good and not know what to do? Looking good. This world does not feel huge. This world feels very small. I guess I could keep reading the ledger. I think that was Odysseus's initial instinct. Not a bad instinct. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A cabbage of papers hanging from the board with the permeables drawer inside. It's barely held together by a clip, then made complete by the faint smell of urinal cleaner. Urinal? <laughs> Who says it like that? It takes about half an hour to piece one together using the system you've devised. Which one do you want? Ah, uh, see, I feel like this is just a way to farm XP. Not much has changed in the meanwhile. A bunch of sodden papers still sags. There's a the hidden board. part interfacing. My interfacing is pretty all right. Already. Oh, it's a three. Room for improvement. Oh man, this is reminding me of Outer Wilds. <laughs> Not the literal gameplay, but just the sense of helpless helplessness of like, well. are these thanks for the change communist publishers oh to see us have a drink i tried gart wouldn't serve me he's all like i don't serve alcoholics blah 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 I could try again now that i have a crowbar
Should we go talk to that lady about that weird basement? <laughs> we never followed up. You broke down <laughs> the back door. Yeah. The wards. Yeah. The door. It's all gone now. Dark psychic energy leeching onto my shop. Sometimes it's necessary to resort to extreme measures, ma'am. I suppose it's all over now. I guess there's no escape. What are you talking about? It's just a door. Just a door? This place is cursed, Detective. They don't call it the doomed commercial area for nothing. Just look at the sheer amount of companies that have failed in this house. <laughs> I hope you're happy now. Happy that you've ruined everything. Now that you've broken the door, the curse is coming to get me as well. Oh, poor lady. Host almighty, she prays. Guard me and my honest business venture from the curse that lurks behind the door. Blessed be your name. I thought the curse wasn't real. Of course you didn't. You're nothing but a policeman. I mean, I legit brought the curse to your attention and you told me it wasn't real, so... All right. You know what? I'm willing to let you investigate the doomed commercial area. We are set on the path. There's little else to do. That's what I'm saying. Like, what are we supposed to be doing right now? Her facade has dropped. Now you see the curiosity behind the fear. But before we go on, tell me, did you encounter the malignant entity? Oh, God. The entity? No, I don't think so. Yes, the malignant entity oh. that lives inside the chimney. It takes the shape oh, of a geez. woman, a witch probably. I've suspected that she knows more about the curse than she lets on ever since I first saw her. I heard voices coming out of the chimney. Yes, I've heard that. It's enormous. She has barricaded herself behind some metal security curtains upstairs. What? God knows what she's doing there. What? Some unnatural magic, I assume. What? You should go find the entity and ask what happened to all the companies in the building. And do return to me after you've talked to it. I'm quite anxious to know what she has to say about the curse. If you're really interested in cracking this mystery, then we should go back to the furnace. Wow, is right or is it? Or something. <laughs> Make some noise. You'll think uh. of something. You always do. Despite his call, the lieutenant's interested in solving this mystery too. Uh, I guess I have a few more questions about the curse. Okay, but please, only a few questions. You wouldn't want to disturb the spirits. How does it manifest? The curse is so much worse than you could imagine. It's a disease eating at the very foundation. Mm. It's the curse of financial distress, of ruin oh my God, and lady. bankruptcy. Didn't, didn't that curtain just move? Oh, come on. I was hoping for something more paranor paranatural. But officer, there's nothing natural about entire companies declaring bankruptcy. Oh my God, come I'm on. I'm talking about cacodemons feeding off bad business practices and disappointing income statements. Stop. There's something wrong with this building, I can tell you. Ever since I arrived, I've sensed an eerie lingering presence, as if I was unwanted here. Maybe it's just Annette staring you down, man. Sounds familiar. Strange, I feel unwanted too. What does it mean? <laughs> no, I'm not talking to this lady about my personal business. She nudges her glasses, anxious, and the woman before you scan. All right, well, since we are in full side quest mode now, because I have no idea what to do on the main quest, let's go check this out, shall we? Spooky basement. Oh, yeah, the flashlight. Whoa. Where was that furnace? Here we go. A thick layer of cold <laughs> dust covers the furnace. Odysseus, trust me, I'm an accountant. I understand black. her fears. <laughs> Too funny. All right, let's yell hello into the furnace. Something. Thank goodness. <laughs> a I feel so bad if we go throughout the chimney's depths. The chatter of tiny voices above suddenly cease. Then. Bye, Civil. Thanks for hanging out. Good luck with curses, dead bodies, and stuff. You know, that's what we do. That's what we do. Hope to see you next week. Have a good night. The 
musical instrument, something breaks loose in you. A mighty echo, a mighty bellow echoes through the chimney steps. Oh boy. Hello? No, come on. You've awakened the entity. It's just a lady. Hello? Are you there? Speak to me. Hello? Yeah, it's just a lady. You hear a low rumble upstairs. The sound of a curtain being pulled aside. After you, officer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Smear your hands with coal. A lush layer of coal now covers your skin, sinking into the wrinkles. Your hands look ancient. You feel the spirit of Ramut Karazai, ah. ancient hero of Grath, pulsing through you. I'm not going to do that, All dude. that's left is to cover your face in war paint. No. Yes, how grown <laughs> The furnace agrees. Sometimes we have lines, and that's a line. The lieutenant seems relieved as well. Yeah, we're all very relieved that that did not happen. All right, let's go upstairs and find this lady. Oh, yep, there's a dead body. Yep, 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 yep. I'm kind of tempted to just have, have Kim take the body. I mean, we're not doing a lot of interesting things with it, so maybe we'll do that after this lady. I just there was a curtain. Holy shit, we haven't even gone up here, have we? Did we? Oh my god, where did we come from in here? I don't think I've been up here. <laughs> Whoops. Oh my god! There's a person up here! Hello. I'm Nia. Hi. A bird-like woman sits on a throne of tools with emerald light shining through her hair. Did you try knocking on my window? I must have missed you. I've been listening to my millions. <laughs> Is this, um... Lo-fi girl? She's just drawn and chilling up here. So what kind of dye are you looking for? Um... Could this be the malicious entity? Perhaps it's wise to go along with this masquerade for now. She's got a direct view to the backyard. You should interrogate her about the lynching. Uh, you must have been confused with someone else. I haven't knocked on your window. Then how did you get inside? By the south entrance? You know what? It doesn't even matter. What matters is that you're finally here. Let's talk dice. Did you have something specific in mind? You didn't invite me up here? Why are you asking me about dice? I'm a novelty dice maker. Of course you are. Tell me the name of your role-playing <laughs> system and I'll make the god die you need. It. That's why you're here, yes? Oh my god, it's too cute. I can't handle it. <laughs> it's too cute. As she speaks, her bone-like fingers fiddle with a ring. Her bones light, but her hands strong. Role-playing games? You know the one made by Fortress Accident. Does that count? Sure, I like role-playing games, and I need some dice. Very good. My rate is 10 real per set. <laughs> unless you want something really unusual. Sorry, I... I literally find change on the ground. That's my only source of income in this game. Take a look around and see if there's any particular stone you want to use. I can't believe that this is in this game. It's too cute. Well, this person means you, or no one else, absolutely no harm. She will answer freely and honestly. Let's ask her about the game. <laughs> what do you know about the man who was lynched behind the whirling in rags? Nothing really. I didn't know him. Who cares about the dead body? We might be dealing with a malignant entity here. I don't think that that's true. The lieutenant looks at his notebook, then the woman under the large window. Your window looks directly onto the courtyard. You're saying you didn't Tell see Tell her to make a D100. Anything unusual last <laughs> evening? I'm sorry, detective, but as you know, I usually have my headphones on when I'm working. It shuts out most of the daily records behind my window. What do you mean by daily ruckus? Well, there's always something going on in the Whirling's backyard. She stops to try to come up with an example. 
during daytime, there are usually those kids. Yeah. And lately, I've been seeing a lot of drunk workers hanging about. Must be because of the strike. She's not sorry to disappoint you. Informing on someone in a murder investigation would intrude upon her focused existence. Fair. But I never saw anyone during that fateful Sunday night, I'm afraid. Thank you for your answers. She nods. Can I buy a D20? Of course. Tell me what you have in mind. Her voice sounds so kind. Do you know the Wirral on Tethered setting? <laughs> Do you have any cursed dice? Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, do you have any cursed dice? What do you mean by cursed? As cursed as my life. Maybe as cursed as this commercial area. Let's stay on focus. All right. How about I surprise you? Come back in eight hours with seven real, and I'll give you your cursed die. It's a deal. Great. See you in eight hours then. Was there anything else? Why do I want a cursed die? I roll badly enough already. Um, can I order another die? I'm sorry. I'm a bit overloaded just now, so I can only produce one die per customer. Okay. That's fair. Uh, what is this place? We're inside the chimney of an old central furnace. It's strange, I know. It's pretty cool. She looks at the ruddy bricks that make up the walls. Even though they've been repainted and there are still signs of coal black soot here and there. But when I arrived here, all the other rooms were taken, so I had to build myself a makeshift home. Besides, I don't really have to pay any rent here, so that's a plus. The cursed dice for the scared lady? <laughs> It'd probably make her more scared. I guess face your fear, right? Placence was right. There's an entity living in the chimney. You should ask her about the curse. Sure. Create here. Um, I've heard this place is cursed. Did you know that people call it the doomed commercial area? I've heard the stories, but I don't think those stories are true. Placence is the one who sent me. She's convinced that the place is swarming with malicious energies. Placence, the bookshop lady? I've heard that her business is doing rather well. Have the energy spared her somehow? Actually, the bookstore isn't doing that well. There's hardly any customers and she has to exploit her own daughter to keep the company going. All oh, right, but it's not just the bookstore that's still up and running. What about the whirling in racks? Some people say it's part of the building complex. Uh, the whirling isn't doing well either. Its waitress just took off and customers have trouble paying bills. And then there is me. <sighs> She sighs looking at her messy work table. All kinds of tools lie there scattered from knives to carving piles to wire cutters. I've been here for 14 years, selling novelty dice to role-playing <laughs> enthusiasts. She's just Not here. exactly a million real business idea, yet somehow I've survived despite the talk of malicious energies. Strange, isn't it? Maybe you're the malicious energy. It's because she's in cahoots with the demons. Exactly, Half-Light. You and I see eye to eye for once. Placence thinks it's because you're the source of it. Malignant entity? What does that even mean? <laughs> Some kind of sorceress? Who she is. What about you, officer? Do you think I'm the malignant entity? Oh boy. The jig is up. The <laughs> she demon knows you've uncovered her true identity. Oh my god. Time has come to face the source. Oh my god. Fear not, for this the forces lady. of the universe are supporting you in this psychic quest. I just show up at this dice maker's workshop. <laughs> Coming in hot. Oh my god. I was starting to see that there is no curse, only business decisions and natural market fluctuations. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. I'm not going to attack this poor woman. Exactly. Truth is always so disappointingly mundane and boring. <laughs> But I'm glad we got this sorted out. Anything else I can help you with today? Nope, just my dice. Blaisons is not going to like what you have to tell her. Exactly. Ooh, Shivers, legendary. Why hasn't her business failed? So cool. How's our Shivers? Plus four. Let's try it. You feel nothing. Damn. If anything, 
It's uncomfortably warm in here. Oh my god. Start taking off your clothes. You need to connect. Are you kidding me? She has begun to idly no clean way. one of her carving tools with a dirty kerchief. The tool's sharp edge shining in the light of her desk lamp. I need to, like, save this woman from me. It's just a nice dice maker. Or is it? This place is so spooky. All the failed businesses. It's really cute. All right, lady. I'm here to tell you it's just a dice maker. What have you found? And also, do buy the books. There may be teachings in them. I talked to the entity you told me about. Her name is Neha, and she's a novelty dice maker. A novelty dice maker? Well, spit it out. Why does she need the dice? For some kind of sorcery. Sometimes they use the ankle bones of sheep. <laughs> Odysseus says best NPC ever about Neha. Yeah, totally cool. Um, she's not a sorceress or a malicious entity. She's a businesswoman like you. I don't understand. If it's not her, then where is the source of the doom? How did she explain the curse? There's no curse. She's squeezing on the pendant too tight. A drop of blood in her palm. Oh, man. Just don't say you don't have any answer yet. The uncertainty is killing her. You've come this far. You know how to end it. There is an entity behind the entity. Hmm. The sources in the taxidermist shop? He became involved in arts darker than taxidermy? Oh my god. There's another entity, more malignant, pulling the strings in Martinez. Perhaps in my travels I will cross paths with it. A third order presence, yes. Yep. A great dark relief washes over her. We all like there to be a big boss. I've heard of these triactors. In certain occult literature, that's too dark to dwell on for too long, and definitely not in public. Can I call child services on this woman? Like, I really feel like Annette should not be living with her. I understand everything, sir. Seven Thank you for your XP. descending into the maelstrom. I will keep fought up here, strengthen the wards, do my best. And if you happen upon the third entity in your travels, uh -huh. may the Lord be with you. Oh, God. Well, this has been absolutely educational. <laughs> if we happen on the third presence in our travels, we will certainly come back to tell you. Kim is not happy about this side quest. Yes. The venture continues in other waters. Darker waters. Should we get out of here before the vortex collapses? Farewell for now, book peddler. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. We've got skill points. And a postcard. And pick up dice from the dice maker. <laughs> cool. Cursed dice, exactly what I need in this game. My dice are already cursed. All right, what did we say we were doing? We were doing, we could do shivers, we could do interfacing. What was the other one I was looking at? Oh yeah, authority maybe. I have pretty good authority. That was for the union guy. Um. Suggestion. What do we got? What do we got? Find a mortal weapon. Yeah, Titus has authority. Oh, damaged ledger has interfacing. That's important too. Hey, thanks for the follow, I squared. Uh, I feel like 
I mean, we're already good at authority, and I don't feel like my character as Sorry Cop is a very authoritative figure. Horseback monuments. A lot of these are just random ones. Physical instrument for the ice cream maker. I mean, it might help us to get a little bit. Let's see. I'm already at four. Should we go more himbo? Himbo away. Yeah, let's get buff. What am I doing to these stats? There was something in here I wanted to buff up to. Rhetoric? Persuasion might be good. Is there a suggestion? I feel like I've seen that. Oh, there it is. It's pretty strong already. Yeah, let's do rhetoric. Just get slightly less shitty at that. <laughs> slightly. Okay. Cool. Are there any checks we can redo now? Can redo. container. <laughs> Can't open the container door by talking to it? Yeah, right. What is Si Lang's all about? Oh yeah, the footprints in the dust. That's a good one to redo too. I wish it would actually show you on the map where this stuff is. That'd be really nice. Okay. Well, very weird side quest. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for all of that. Should we tell this kid to get out of here? Hello, sir. How is the investigation going? Found any curses yet? Um, I found a way into the doomed commercial area. Oh, that's great. I hope exciting adventures lie ahead. Oh, Odysseus, have a good can night. Help become less afraid. Thanks so much for hanging out. Hope to see you again next week. Have a really good rest of your week, too. All right, we can't save Annette. <laughs> Annette, we cannot save you. Oh, and it is 11.30. Look at that. So I told myself I was not going to stream until all hours of the night. And I do feel like it's a good place to stop. It's at noon in-game. So we can kind of pick up here with, I guess, finding purpose for next session. Because, man, I am so confused as to next steps. I feel like we did some good work. I mean, we're, we move forward. But now we're kind of moving slowly. I'll think about it. I think I just need to maybe turn the body in. It's an option. Have a good night, Odysseus. I think I'm going to call it too. Yeah. We'll end stream on time for once tonight, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, sleep schedule. But thanks for hanging out. I have so many things to talk about. I forgot to talk about most of them on that raid. I need to get my, my Twitch pitch down. But we're doing cool things. So tomorrow on Todd's channel, like I mentioned, I'm going to be in the uh, coolest 80s kids fighting crime and monsters game, uh, Monster Hunters Club. I'm going to be playing, as I said, the annoying character. So get ready. Um, so that's over at Todd's channel. I'll drop that in chat.
Um, so that's where we'll be on Friday evening. And then what else is coming up? Sunday, we've got a Kids on Bike stream here. Uh, it's going to be awesome. A lot of cool folks in there. You can find out more information on social, on Twitter. Um, the whole cast, it's going to be a great time with, again, 80s kids, monsters, murder. So it's just like a very 80s vibe happening. Um, and what else is happening? Man, we've got Disco com coming back on Thursday. Uh, Rapscallions wrapping up at the end of April, April 24th. Yeah, lots of RPG fun coming up. Um, some really cool guests coming out for uh, First Fridays next month. So I'm really stoked to try some new systems with them. Good times, good times coming up. Um, but yeah, if you like the 80s, like this is your weekend. <laughs> so uh, definitely check out Todd's channel tomorrow and then us on Sunday for Kids on Bikes. And we'll do a little raid. Let's see who's playing disco at this hour. We've got... Oh yeah, we've got some late late night folks. Newt, were you lurking? What? You can't just come in at the end and say what's up? I mean, I guess you can. Because <laughs> you did. Whatever, you gotta say hey. Thanks for hanging out. You're a champion lurker. Oh man, who should we raid? I'm kind of interested in this stream that's just called Welcome. <laughs> this is like very generic. Oh no, we gotta go with a game where I can feel like I'm Batman. That's the winner. Uh, we're going to go say hey to Mikey Baby Jr. I don't know. We'll see what Mikey Baby's all about, but I do appreciate the Batman reference. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. 80s RPGs galore this weekend, so check that out. And Newt, student GTA RP, so I had you on the side. All good. Always good to see you in chat. Come hang out and pop up as a lurker at the end whenever. Um, oh, oh, I could do a shout out for Newt. Hold on, hold on. Look at me go. Also go check out Newt. Yeah, it worked. Doing Grand Theft Auto? Question mark? I don't know. We'll find out what that is tomorrow. It's too late to learn new acronyms. But have a good night, everybody. We're going to go raid somebody playing disco. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being awesome. And yeah, we'll figure out this whole mystery solving thing next week. So see you then. Take good care. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.